Okay, so I should be live now. Oh, there we go. All right, all uh, technical difficulties appear to be out of the way. We got the game downloaded again, so let's try. All right, let's see if we can let the Reddit boys know that we're back. Because ideally, I'd like to do this with an audience. Let's see. Okay, so just doing stuff on those screen. I will uh, be over momentarily. Okay, looks like we're all good on this end. So I'm exiting all the little extras. And we got the live stream up. We're going to go. No, no, no. Damn it. All right, so sorry for boomerang that up. There we go. We're going to do a pop out chat. Okay, there we go. Everything seems to be fine and dandy now. Let's go ahead and play Dreadmore. Uh, we're going to kick his ass at least. Uh, don't don't let me being a new streamer make me look like a new gamer. One thing I'm definitely not liking about this live stream setup, like, whew, I definitely need need to find a better setup because OBS seems way better, uh, way better for other setups. But anyways, we'll go through here. We're going rogue, permadeath, realm of the Dougal God, sweet. And our build's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna be doing axes, two of them, in fact. And we're going to be doing it as a battle geologist. That's to uh, deal with magic enemies, essentially. It, it gives you the day's effect for free. So if we didn't do it this way, we'd probably do magic law for gag order. So those are your two there. Plus, it we intend to guarantee a defeat on Dreadmore, and nothing d guarantees that better than than petrify which is just to be frank op but i want to win so i'm taking the op ability next we're doing clockwork knight and the reason we're taking clockwork knight is to guarantee that we get the recipe for uh the uh double chainsaws because you're not guaranteed any item in this game so making sure we get the recipe for it and a means to get stuff is pretty good we're also going to get this this will pretty much guarantee that we're going to knock traps out and we're going to get smithing because that'll allow us to craft our main defenses. We're smithing. There we go. And with that out of the way, we have one more free space. Now, we could go for burglary as our get out of jail free cards. Now, we already get a teleport through Clockwork Knight, so it's not 100% necessary, but it is good. The other options, yeah, this is just Burglary is really good, and especially in the early game, what it'll do is enable us to get more consumables early. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be clank. There we go, boom. So we're gonna be, let's begin. We're gonna be a dual wielding masterclass assassin. Let's see, what kind of goodies did we get to start with? Brass mechanism's good. That's one of the things we need. So. The rest of this is kind of trash. So we're definitely going to hope for... A, we're definitely going to hope for some goodies. Go ahead and grab a drink. 
button, all right? And we're gonna hope for a loot, all right. We're super not gonna need drinks in this. We are gonna be checking these pretty regularly because there is a buff that will give you uh, actual damage, dodge, and a few stats. Uh, Lester Saigon, which is good for any build. And to uh, start, we're gonna put that on ourselves. Now, you might be wondering with Platonic Fist of why it has a cooldown. It's a debuff. It is pretty much only a buff on this level after you have a sizable amount of crit. And, yeah. Losing crit, crit in this game is also guaranteed hit chance. So, you, you lose your guaranteed hit chance and you lose your, bet, your coolest defense in favor of having 5 attack. 5 attack is worth it right at the moment, but won't be for much longer. Now we are going to be a little more careful in this. Thankfully, right out of the gate, we're already doing plenty of damage. We can two-shot Diggles. They do four damage, which is a pretty big deal. Let's see, seven HP. We're not going to worry about that. Okay. And we don't want to take... Uh, Agoragious or whatever, that's bad for us. Silver is... I don't think it's one of our, our preferred stats right now. We'll be uh, taking things that ruin... As far as buffs and increase go, we do want attack, attack speed and whatnot, but let's see. Craft. Let's see. Like smith, smith, looking down at smithing, a lot of the stuff we just don't want. This one would be fine, because we're not trying to sneak too much, but... Yeah, a lot of the stuff that removes swiftness... ...isn't super appealing. Yeah, we could could end up building the uh, Clockwork Knight sets, but... ...we are going to be building a lot of... We're going to be trying to build it... Hmm. ...Clockwork Axes and whatnot. So yeah. So a lot of the recipes we're gonna wanna do we don't have just yet, but let's see. And pretty much any of these will be fine. Cause we're gonna want the clockwork wrenches. Uh, the triple axe is cool because when you land a hit with it, you get a uh, automatic guaranteed crit on your next kill. But any procs you get that from your weapon will neutralize that, and that sucks because we're going to have procs. We're going to have a ton of proccing abilities, so we will not be working to get the iron axe. Now we might get that just because resistances are a good thing. We'll definitely be getting joint lube, but the enchants we actually care about are going to be more over here. Hmm. Uh, this is, uh, something I'm highly interested in getting. Dazzles enemies with brilliance. We're gonna be dual wielding weapons, so... Crits are guaranteed hits. So we are going to want spring-loaded traps, brass mechanisms, which we already have three. And most importantly over there, it's only 12 chance to, uh, screw up our weapons. So we'll start off with weapons that have the... We'll be putting these on, on axes, and ideally we'll be able to get two stacks of them on each weapon and then call it quits. We're definitely going to be using rocket thrusters, so aluminum tubing and aluminum in general is important. And we're going to want the uh, heads-up display. At least one of them, because like, that extra trap thing is going to make the difference for us to be able to get pretty much every trap in the game. Yeah, we don't need uh, big brain, but looking at crafting, we, yeah, pretty much brass mechanisms are big brain strats. Hmm. Let's see if we have any of the axe recipes we need already. We're not going to need the uh, trapper's tool belt. Let's see, just keep on scrolling down here. We may get the uh, leader hose to start with. Yeah, might grab a, a spiked collar, might not. 
We're going to want the uh, other clockwork one, which gives us even more strength. Because ideally, we want to be one-shotting enemies. We've got a lot of uh, control with this build. So we're going to take advantage of that by uh, building up more attack stats than anything. And losing aim on this build won't matter because crits, which we're going to be stacking, are guaranteed hits. And that's a mass doom bolt, so that's the uh, first... Yeah. That's our uh, first enemy sorted. Alright, we're going to level up off these guys, so we're not too scared. A more proper way to have done it would be that way. There we go. And just like that, we leveled. But yeah, we're going to have tons of crit from this because we're going to be dual wielding axes. We're going to have a little more crit from this, but mostly plenty of counterattack. Lucky pick will pretty much will guarantee us lock picks throughout the rest of the game, and increase our trap sight. These are going to be just stat after stat after stat. Yeah, so we're going to be able to level up pretty high. Petrify is the main key item here. We also get some okay resistances, but mostly this is the petrify tree. And Basilisk Skin will mean some magic resist, it's whatever, but... And Quake is some AoE, so this will give us plenty of control. This will allow us to smith and go ahead and rocket attack. We're going to go ahead and do Lucky Pick, just because we... Lock picks in this game can be Feast or Famine. You'll either have more than you ever need... We're going to take those odds. Okay. Instant Regretty Spaghetti. We're going to go ahead and put those up into our inventory. Uh, we may end up using these traps. There we go. Good news is, uh, Bolt of Destruction is going to devastate our enemies. Your father was a, was a quivering beef. Hmm. The rudeness. Five ingot presses. That's ridiculous. Okay, and we, yep, we are streaming just fine. And if you, yeah, when y'all do drop in, yeah, let's see, there's current viewers, all that fun stuff. That's sweet. If you want to drop in and say hi, Aldi, talk about my sound levels, things like that, that would help. But yeah, we're already doing 13 slash damage. And we have like none of our gear yet. There we go. Got to pop an egg here. Papa Cheese. Papa Cheese is my rap name. Let's see. His name is Robert Polson. Alright. My name is uh, Nita. Nita. Need a break right here. Alright, plastic is. Uh, Dees item. Let's see. She flies, so we're not going to be able... Alright. The bear in here is worth like 600 XP, so we want to close this door. Hmm. Okay. Is it... Yeah, we're, we're running. Of course the Baron would be running after us. Damn it. Okay. Good news is we like knowing where he is because we're going to be able to essentially skip a level. All right, we know he's in this general area, and I don't think there's anything over there he's going to die on. So we'll just check around here. That's a spring-loaded power quarters are good. This isn't the, what we want, but it is slash damage. All right, and we got some arrows, but you know, we won't want a bow. We got screwed on RNG on our uh, start thing because a bunch of brass mechanisms. And we'd have, we'd have liked a stack of iron or steel. All right, there's some gold.
Okay, so we are getting resources, which is cool and all. All right, and we're getting traps. Hopefully we find a nice little Dreadmore store. Uh, we want to talk with Brax, which, fun fact, I've cosplayed Brax before. It was fun. Although I went with a very distinctly red, red demon because his pinkish colors and things like that kind of... I wanted to make it, you know, very certain that I was a demon and not not uh, making a political statement, so to speak. All right, Molotov cocktails are great. So we'll probably use these to score some easy, safe kills in this early game. All right, iron is nice to see. One thing I am going to want to build is a clockwork bow. But let's see. What can we build right now? I'm going to say have ingredients. Well, I didn't mean to make a crude iron bow, but here we are. Yep, well... Good news is we have a bow now. All right, that's actually going to carry us through the early game, so. That's unfortunate. Minus, minus two aim also means enemies will dodge us more, so that kind of sucks. All right, we don't have the uh, potion, and we want the... There's a uh, brew here that will give you the Saijin thing, which, which will give you a nice little stat up. At the cost of some mana per turn, we almost never run out of mana, so that would be pretty good. We're going to use these plastic bolts. There we go. And that's how you use bows. And use, yeah, especially in the early levels before your build is uh, set up, use your weapons. You, yeah, use your resources. There's no, there's no point point in uh, having a giant stack of of uh, plastic bolts later. All right, loot fish cube is great for us because we can use it to uh, get rid of junk we don't need. We'll go ahead and put corkscrew bolt here. Uh, we're not using you. We're not using bruise. Shredded cheese. There you go. Just every time you hear soul, we're praising the loot fish. And as we kind of get the crafts we need, I'm sure we'll be tossing more more to the loot fish. That was pretty good. Uh, all right, so there's a bunch of things we want here, so we'll definitely make note of this one. And in a game like this, you definitely want to take notes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to form up a little more of the uh, room before taking that on. We'll definitely take Brutal Club over our current weapon. That was actually a great find. There we go. Now we're hitting a point where, real quick, where Barb Club is just going to be a... I mean, this is just going to be a downgrade for us. All right, so... Yeah, I would like some counterattack. Because we're at the point where we're going to be two-shotting and one-shotting enemies anyways. All right. Mechanic go re rebreather. That is an item we'll be able to make. Could have, all right, there was a craft machine, so where did it go? All right. So, level one. 
All right, we're going to use our bullet pin because we are Mecha Knights. All right, so... Uh... All right, level one, let's see. Bottom left is so crap machine bottom left stair. So I've made a note of that. That'll help me remember it. And one thing is, even if you your notes don't have to be perfect, because even just writing it down will uh, help you remember. All right, we'll get our free bolts, which is great. They will be using those ASAP and baseballs. We can probably sacrifice to Zul. But we'll start off by using those. Now, and enemies will be appearing because of that. Critical hits. There we go. Boom, and we have leveled up. Now, we want to get some of our... We want to go down this way because we want to get our recipes... There we go. And that's a great recipe there. Steel, spring power loaded thing, brack mesosisms. That will uh, give us a arrow that pulls enemies to us. And it will make one-shotting enemies a little easier because it'll be, well, it's a move that will soften enemies as we go for them. Now, what will Platonic Fist do for us? It's not a useless talent. The way attacks work in this game is crits are guaranteed. So an ability to remove an enemy's ability to crit and counterattack is awesome. Although enemies will not be able to counterattack against us because we're going to go for 100% crit. So we're going to have 100% hit rate and they're not going to be able to hit us back. Now, is this going to be an important room or a useless one? Staff of the uh, Moravec. So that had, all right, this is an insane room. Like this is almost good enough that I don't. All right, so yeah, this one's almost good enough that we'd want to steal from it. But let's see, we're gonna go ahead and, s we don't, we're not gonna need these traps. So we'll go ahead and sell all this. Now we're gonna hit Alt to uh, split our things and then we're going to Hit shift to sell the whole stack. There we go. Now, are there any weapons and armor here we'd want to get? Uh, copper. That's not the w one we ultimately want to end up with, but it's pretty good. We want to buy from the machines, cause in this game you can still there. You'll hit a point where you can just kill Brax. We're not there yet. He would he would kick our face in. But yeah, we'll hit a point pretty soon that we'll be able to just just. To, uh, buy stuff. I'm tempted to grab the wooden crossbow. There's a sickle there. Is there any axes here? All right. So none of the. So honestly, it's a. There's not anything here we actually want. Like the uh, coolest items here are uh, parachute pants. Ten dodge is cool. We're trying to use counter build counter attack though. This kind of goes against our build. Like we sneak is a really good stat for us. But we could, yeah, we could, we wouldn't be unhappy unha to get those because we could definitely, with the setup we have, get super duper armor. But yeah, I'm tempted to, I'm definitely going to be robbing the uh, Braxes on this floor at some point. But it'll probably be the point where I'm, I've gone down a few levels and I'll go up and just do a uh, robbery spree. Because guess what? Burglary is incredibly good for robbing these guys. And we'll be getting some invisibility potions and stuff, so we'll be able to go buy them. But most likely, we won't even have to use invisibility potions. We'll just be one-shotting his uh, boys. There we go. We got a steel potion. I don't think we need to craft with it, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Hey. Okay. All right. So we're just kind of going through all this. All right. Do we have the grinder? We do not have a grinder. So we want to be able to grind some of the stuff because we'll be able to just use it. All right, that is 
an axe, but it's not the axe we want. All right, bolt, fire bolts are pretty cool. All right, we'll use uh, corkscrew bolts next. All right, he, they, he has a whopping one HP, so we'll chance that. Cool. Uh, hefty stick is fine. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I already used that little bit of iron I had. Now, let's see. Aluminum is great for us. And we do want these specifically for the achievement for eating 100 of them. Uh, cheesy omelets are more meta, but it is what it is. All right, we're going to hit the Amazon there. We got we're gonna have plenty of arrows just through uh, virtue of stealing. All right, we don't our uh, the drink we wanted isn't showing up, so there will be a point where I just stop caring about drinks, but I'll still get them as uh, loot fish. We'll drink and hope it's not acid. All right, we got darkness there, so we'll use it. All right, when we got down with the darkness. All right, and we get more bolts. We're actually going to want to aggressively use these weapons now because we got plenty of them. So, yep. Uh, that's uh, an enchant that's really good, but we don't want it at the moment. Let's see. We'll go. We'll, 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 I'm willing to uh, risk this one. All right, we've got the. All right, Torgok, the wrathful foe. So that actually, let's see. How does that affect our stats? Hmm. All right, burliness. Burliness is the primary attribute of warrior and uh, pertains to uh, getting into uh, trouble, hitting one's head and the other's foes, and getting hit by uh, large objects and primitives. It affects life points, melee power, and block chance. Okay, so more melee, more lock chance. We don't really care about block chance, but we'll, we'll get it, have it. There we go. This is probably going to lead to a teleporter in this room, so... But we will go ahead and use it. Oh, okay. Uh, flame, Pyromancer's Gauntlets, we don't care about those. We won't... Anything, pretty much. All right, and a, a modular alchemy set and the uh, Dreadmore. Sweet, so we're just running into a bunch of stuff. I am gonna go ahead and take this teleporter back real quick to check out this corner. Nay. Okay, well, yeah, we're also gonna want our wizard portal whenever it shows up. That's right, I, my vandalism is heroic. Take a moment to do that. Take a moment to do that. So yeah. All right, that's a pretty sweet item. Our, uh, our, our first, uh, yeah, our first monster zoo is gonna be super easy. We're definitely putting those gloves on. Let's go look at this real quick. No, not that one, but we do want this one. All right. Is there anything I can do with those gloves? Okay, so I'm going to want to make thick leather gloves because I think there's a secret version of this that requires more tink tinkering. The, uh, like the mega clockwork gauntlets. Let's see, and that right there is just just a good mask mask for general resistances. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about all this. Hmm. 
All right, that's a free shield. We're just going to do that. So if you weren't aware, your gauntlets can uh, clap them away. All right, and I need to not step in traps. That's like the most dangerous thing you can do do in this game. Well, yeah, the mo well, most reckless thing. All right, so. Hmm. We're going to do this one instead because that's going to be mean. Your inventory is low. All right, so we're going to need to deal with our inventory. All right, I don't really care about those puff balls. We've got enough range. We got enough range stuff going on at the moment. We're going to get rid of things we don't really care about. So goodbye traps. Ideally, I, I want to get my wizard portal so that I can hoard stuff, but, you know, can't always have what we want. Now... I may want to do this for now. Yeah, alright, so... Hmm. Definitely making me go hmm because all right, we'll we'll look at it this way. What am I get, getting from having an axe right now? All right, two two. So essentially, this is four slash one crit. So we'd be trading. So I don't know. It's it, it's elementary essentially. Do we want? I think we prefer the slight extra damage, but hmm, only barely. Critical hits. What does nimbleness give us again? Nimbleness is the primary trip of the rogue. Let's see. All right, it does give us counterattack chance. We want our counterattack chance as high as possible, so we don't want to be tanking our nimbleness. All right, that heal is not going to do anything for us right now, so we'll just leave it be. All right, that ring is better than nothing, and it's going to summon a bunch of free XP to us. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and eat a regular Diggle Egg. I am going to walk up here. I'm pretty sure it's an empty room, but I don't want this to bug me later. Oh, wait. I should have just used that. Oh, and my health's already back up. Darn. That was a waste of eggs. I hate you so much. Well, I hate you too. Well, just like that, we now have a use for you again. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to hope that over here in this corner that that's a yeah I want my wizard portal we're gonna keep using our range attacks because we've got plenty of range ammo at the moment all right we got us some gems let's see I might need this hefty sticks but let's look at this go ahead and get rid of these traps I may need the brimstone, so we won't get rid of it. Not gonna need you. Go ahead and pick you up. We're not gonna need these mushrooms. And I don't think we have any use for the verdant potion, but we'll hold on to it just a moment. Once we have our uh, recipes, I'll be able to kinda ha make myself a cookbook list. And like, and cook and lists are pretty are a pretty good way to handle things because we'll hit a point where it's just like, oh, is this on my list? No, okay, then into the trash it goes. All right, he's unfortunately behind something. I don't even think. Yeah, we're gonna shoot him with that. And don't be afraid to play conservatively because yeah, you know, we don't want to get hit. 
All right, there's the drink I was talking about. We're gonna pop that immediately. So for the rest of the game, pretty much, we're gonna have an additional HP, additional mana, that which doesn't matter, an additional attack and four dodge. So Lesser Sigic is just a free, it's, it's free real estate for us. Once in a blue moon, I might need to pop a random drink. Hmm. There we go, we'll go ahead and just pop one of them. All right, we definitely don't need you. Hmm. Go ahead and kill Mr. Blobby there. And we, we already have a means to one-shot enemies on this floor. Uh, all right, so... Yes, technically this has counterattack on it, but one counterattack ain't shit. Okay, what are, what's something I would want to get rid of? Let's look at our weapon creation options at the moment. Ooh, fine steel axes are pretty cool. Hatchets bronze, I believe. Yep. Woodsman axes would be would be a buff. We just would need some iron to make them. Kind of sucks that it takes this materials to make a wooden hatchet, but then you have these badass bow staves that are so much more damage. That's not too big a deal. Iron axes into uh, the uh, Samora axe. Two iron axes equal a double axe, and then you can create the triple. That's not the build we're going for, but it is a something I'm acknowledging exists. Alright, so, and with a little bit more steel, you get a slightly better axe. Although, yeah, the stars of an item rarely mean anything, because 17 damage ain't shit, and I don't think that has a proc or anything. Yeah, we're, it will eventually need to make the, uh, make this girdle, I believe. Probably not, I don't know. Hmm. A bunch of uh, pole arms. We definitely don't want this one. All right, we could make this if we had, had the uh, iron pole axe. Okay, so we are lacking at the moment in a lot of areas. Go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and get rid of this as well. Alright, we're keeping the meats because there is a... Uh, there's a body enchant that gives you HP, and HP is good. Now we're going to get rid of the chaffer cone too. Yeah, we do aetheral damage, damage now, which is kind of cool. So anything that's uh, weak weak to it will be hitting extra hard. We have our wizard portal, so inventory is no longer an issue. Your inventory is full. All right. And I think this will level us exactly. Yep, four, four XP over. XP does not spill over, so that, that could be an issue. It's tempting to get Viking Strike rolling, offensive maneuvering, but I do think we go ahead and go for Rocket Jump because we want to get the uh, recipes we need. 
Uh, steam. Right, we can make steam rocket bolts, which are cool. Ooh. Is that wizard's robe better stats? It's worse stats. Uh, we don't care about magic damage, but we're not going to let something be magic damage deter us from getting it. I'm going to drop traps. We'll drop. Our inventory yeah. is full. There we go. I will put the potions over to the side just in case I need to take one to get my uh, Zenergy up. All right, we're going to drop these because we're crafting with them. So we'll drop those bad boys. And we're going to... All right. We're going to take our ores and have them drop them out like this. That way, when I come in, I can just look at them. And we'll drop... Yeah, we'll drop powders this way. Do we have any gems yet? No. Uh, potions. All right. Put y'all like lower and over here. All right. Potions are kind of important, kind of not. So we'll uh, drop this, these like this, so I know which ones I have. And we'll use this to get rid of uh, drinks we don't really care about. We do not want the one that can transform us into a Diggle. Diggle Nog is bad because we lose all of our we lose a lot of bonus stats and things like that when we're in Diggle form. Cheeses we're just going to drop in abundance because there's only one special one. Go ahead and have our omelet out, right. and we'll drop meats because they all go together. There we go. And we'll put our sandwich here. And the idea with those is we're going to shred them to turn into uh, loot fish. And we'll put that here for when it comes up. That way y'all can kind of see my inventory. Move this here. There we go. Now that we've got the... There we go. We'll drop gems like this, and we'll have gems go down. And I need to use these arrows. Right, we're going to drop the eggs for now, because we will be crafting cheesy omelets with them. And we'll drop the brass mechanism and the core here. That way we kind of see what we have. There we go. That, that seems organized enough. Now we need 875 to level, so now is a great time to go ahead and head back down. There's no teleporter on that side, so we'll just kind of... Okay, that was a bit rough, but not a big deal. We'll just eat our uh, Danish and be on our way. Plague bolts are pretty cool. But rejuvenation up in here. Fire bolts are pretty cool. And we're not concerned about baseballs. Okay, so we're just going to keep on moseying down. We don't want to get too much experience. I'm pretty sure it's, six, yeah, it's 600, so we can kill a few things along the way, but... Ideally, we, we want the Baron to be nice and healthy. Let's see, will this get us closer or further? Oh, further, okay. So we'll go ahead and shoot this uh, lovely bird. But yeah, we've got quite a few turns before uh, the mana becomes an issue.
Hmm. Right. Doubt the bird will be able to follow us. So now we're going to fight our first boss of this uh, area, the uh, Baron. He teleports, which is annoying. There he is. We'll uh, use our roasty toasty bolts on him. Cool. As you can see, we're doing a pretty good job just whooping his butt. We'll hit him with our uh, hit. There we go. And we'll go ahead and hit him with some an iron bolt here. Sweet. So 600 XP is pretty dang good if you ask me. My gut's telling me there are going to be shops this way. Hmm. Go ahead and just grab those drinks and use them. Hmm. Yeah, and that's 50 turns of our uh, thing. But now having a little more HP, a little more damage, a little more everything is great. Another mace. If we were if we were mace carriers, we'd be a super happy camper right now. Critical hits. Cool. A decent enough piece of food. It'll eventually be with this build that we just buy out all full vending machines. The uh, formula for getting fat stacks of cash with a build like this is rob you know rob brax of everything he's worth because remember he is a demon he's not on your side like if you want to live like an anarcho capitalist you can die like one just saying all right we'll do the uh, jester bolts And all right. Now I forgot if this room came with enchanted items or not. That's an enchanted astrologer's hat. I don't remember those having uh, heal naturally. And yeah, the dancing folly is doing us pretty good. I didn't realize this drained mana so much. Oh, if we end up losing it, we lose it, but not sure we need the, uh, we'll just drink the grog here. There you go. Uh, we got more silver. Nice, killed that baddie. Prepare to re-roll. Ah, I don't want to re-roll. Alright. Looks like I will not be re-rolling. Now, yep, that was an enchanted lobster item, too. And speaking about items we're going to enchant. We're definitely going to grab the lobster fungus here. We don't we don't equip the fungus. We eat it. There you go, and that gives us a little bit of magic resistance. All right, so this is all right. <laughs> Fwok, the uh, smoker of warlocks. All right, we're, let's go smoke some warlocks then. Okay, counterattack is technically a stat we want.
one counterattack seems a bit lame, but that is what it is. All right, that popped open the loot the loot chest there. We got a black pearl now, and that is some iron. All right, we're going to go ahead and craft that. I'm going to craft the silver too, because why not? And we'll look here. Let's see. I want to get the penalty off me, and I think this, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure this goes down to what we need, so we'll go to you. <clears throat> Bombs are an interesting choice. All right, oh, so the Bigger ones require a steel bow, so I'm kind of was just the wrong, wrongest wrong kid to come out of wrong town there. That was a misclick anyway, so I'm not not gonna beat myself up over losing one iron and one brass brass uh, combo. Hmm. Okay, and to make our best ones. Yeah, I think that's the best one we can get. The uh, steel ratchet crossbow with these, which we already have. So we need a bunch of steel and we'll be able to make that. So we'll just save the iron we have for now. Yeah, and there's a fire crossbow bow. Yeah. Let's see secret recipes already. Just arrows. Pick the lock can go in here. Alright, we're gonna be easy to hit once, which is okay. Well, it'll be interesting if we hit a point where the just the easy target curse never goes away because we never get hit. Okay. Oh, no crossbow. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. We're able to two shot these guys. Got him. Alright, so Clockwork Thrashing, I think, is where we first get our axe. Uh, the Clockwork Power Limb. Yeah, we're definitely going to want that. Because, like, again, when our plan will be to always crit, so the minus aim down won't be a big deal. And it says an attachment. And I wonder what it means by attachment. Does that mean it's a ring, essentially? Like, which slot does it go in? I'm going to have to uh, try for science with that. And there's an, three mass destruction bolts. That's insane. Critical hits. With that many, I might use those to kill Bra Brax and get my way out of here. But not without teleport, because obviously Brax is scary. But that's uh, several... Mo that's four. We have four mass destruction bolts. We are pretty sorted for our uh, monster zoos. All right, we're going to go to this teleporter. There's a little gap right here I want to check, though. Shiz. Now, this way is a little closer. And since we've memorized our teleporters, we know going here is a slight shortcut. It's just like, if that's a tiny brack sh if that's a tiny shop we want to see inside it. Wait, no, it's not a shop. Okay. Wait, no, hold on. That's what confused me. I need to go... Like this. Ah. 
Yeah, dodge is an issue for us right now. This is screaming secret area to me, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, there is money there, so I'm kind of glad I came back, but... Ooh. Let's see. Do we have any potions? Drink a bit of grog. That'll give us quite a few turns to recover from that. Okay, so it was just a bit of money and some free traps. Definitely should have just walked the other way, but it is what it is. So we'll go back to that teleporter again. It's convenient that the teleporter is near the eyeball shrine, because when we ev eventually find that quest, that means we'll be able to pop back there. Another reason we want to be able to teleport is just the convenience of it. Hmm. Gotta pop the grog. Yeah, and that got us where we wanted. Now watch, she's gonna be like, go to the eyeball shrine. You must find Blackrock, these are, and be warned, discarded by Lord. All right, so we just gotta go find and kill someone. They are in the darkness somewhere. Definitely break the wooden crate. There's some pyrite in there. There we go. Let's make a quick counter enemy. It's a pretty rotten weapon. We're gonna just pop that immediately. Nay. There you go. So that worked out for us. There you go. And getting on that easy trap trap was certainly something we want. Thankfully, we do have the means to get through here. All right, we're going to play it safe and do the other one. Because we don't want to accidentally block that door. There we go, that worked. Nice. And we'll definitely take that crossbow over our current one. Nay. Alright, so that's one damage down, but we also get the aim up. Alright, and we definitely want to go get both those uber chests. If we're lucky, we'll... Uh, we haven't run into any of the other bosses on this floor yet, but they're, they're trivial at this point. while there actually hold on we have the means to go there it's gonna hurt a bit but it got us there oh boy all all that health down for a robe i i, I feel big brain eat, eat the sandwich do the teleport jump so we trade a robe for a sandwich and some cash essentially There's also an item in there, but... Yeah, we don't have wall destruction, so... We'll definitely grab this belt for now. Sneak is not a... Not a terrible stat. It's not a uh, game-changing early stat. Absorb Items with absorb on it would be amazing. Yeah, and we're doing more and more damage each go. 
Go ahead and suck down some grog. Have just every few hundred turns or so, we need to drink drink a little bit. Yes, I feel very lucky. Yeah, getting every advantage we can will help. And like, while bolt of mass destruction isn't is a consumable, it's a consumable item that's really nice. So we we've got yeah. We, we've got some good stuff going on for us. There we go, just keep on grabbing all this good stuff. Is that your, yeah. Alright, there's uh, Seinfeld, who's the Diggle boss for the first floor. Hmm. Alright, we'll take our free drink. Pop it immediately. There you go. And Seinfeld is no longer with us. You saw what happened to your boss. Alright, sweet, and that was the other boss. Ooh, that's rough. Critical hits. There we go. Hit, hit him with his corkscrew bolt. Definitely not a detonation bolt, but we will hit him with leg bolts. Noise, they're just getting their booties kicked. But yeah, these arrows aren't worth a lot of money, so going ahead and uh, killing them is not, with them is not a bad idea. All right, that's probably an upgrade. Yeah, that's a significant upgrade. Uh, we lose out on one block and one dodge, but we gain some resistances and some crit. I like that, because gar guaranteed hits are freaking awesome. So we've got Bang Chewy Da, the uh, Lacrimose of Envy. Try saying that 20 times fast. Alright, and 13% of our sh hits are guaranteed hits, so that's getting better. Drink-wise, we'll just go ahead and pop that. Ooh, the clockwork drill lance. Yeah, I don't like getting hit by that trap, that's for sure. Burn. Clockwork thrashing. There we go. So, clockwork thrashing... As you can see, the more hits, the better. So there will be a point where we have that and two clockwork saws. So it'll basically be hit, 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 hit. Okay, there's another small crossbow. Hmm. Did that wrong? I thought it was on us. Just keep on clicking through and they gives monies. We're gonna want to hit that uh, vending machine up soon because there's things we want to uh, <laughs> there's things we want to buy out of it. Go ahead and eat that pear. 
And get used to me just just uh, chugging down consumables because you know we want to win. And it, anything we don't use now, now now is probably just going to be loot fish uh, bait. Go ahead and hit them with that. There we go. So that wing of the dungeon's done. We don't need to teleport. Where were you teleporting? Because we definitely. Okay, so we need to go up back to the very start of the dungeon. Right. Hi there, Diggle. So what are we going? We're obviously going to want axes because that's that's the part of the build. We're dual wielding a giant stone club and a brutal club right now. So we're in the clay, caveman era of dual wielding. But we're learning the ways of the queen, and eventually we'll refine to a nice sharp axe. That ring is just really good for the start. We want a ring that gives up. We're going to be taking a ring that increases our counterattack even further soon enough. One in ten non-critical hits. Can't be encounters. Pretty cool. That's a lot of traps. There's no reason to risk getting an acid spray in our face, so we're going to decline that. Now, this area here is probably too shit. Well, there's this place over here, too. So, but we're already close to this one, so we'll do it first. First floor is almost explored. Ah, seven playbacks. People, yeah. So people are popping in. Uh, I hope my butt guffed intro it wasn't too bad. I am going to test my chat real quick. Alright, yeah, it is it is appearing. I didn't get like a warning of... Warning, it's not working. Now that's pretty cool. What are we going to boof here? What would I not be too scared of losing? Hmm. Let's try to make you a really good ring. Right. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure it already had the trap side on it, but a little dodge is not nothing, and, and it's not negative, so yay. Let's see, what are you going to do? Nice. There you go. Now I do need pants, so what we're gonna do here is pick you up. Also, that's a crude iron axe. We're gonna craft, let's see. There you go, and the evil plan here is to make some cutoffs and equip them. And then we're going to pick these up and then we're gonna put them back down now I think I can do something with shivs so we're gonna try that hmm. I was I may have been incorrect here Okay, well, I'll give you your shivs back. All right, uh, crafty books, sweet. Clock work, work actuators. Bo bony, bony axe and bony wand. So we found the Necromancer uh, bookshelves. Let's take a look at those. Okay, and we can only craft those with the steel ones. We can't do it with the serpentine ones. Otherwise, 
we'd aggressively try to get them. The problem with these is, like, we're doing a predominantly rogue build, so getting the uh, getting these is a little spice. The uh, resistance to poison damage, though, I, I definitely see it. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like... All right, and then there's him, and he... Yeah. All right, so he seems pretty cool. We're going to uh, take a moment to sell him a bunch of stuff. We have no... We're, we could min-max by uh, crafting ourselves some coral wands. I'm not too bothered about by that, though. Go ahead and sell a bunch of this. Hmm. I don't. I'll uh, hold on to the sword for now, cause X, cause it's not worth much. We'll go ahead and sell you. Don't think I have any use for the uh, dire potion, but we'll hold on to it just in case. So we're up to 2,000 gold. We can use that to purchase more stuff from our crafting machine that's over here next to this one. Hmm. It'd be a lot cooler if y'all had me some nice axes right off the go, but oh well. We gonna be all right. Oh, I wish they were connected right there. So the last area we need to check is up up at the uh, north northwest uh, lock picks. Wait, hold on. How do I get the, to them lock picks though? Hmm. Yeah, thirteen lock picks is worth it. Nice. So we now know we know our uh, hand shot counts as a spell technically. Hmm. Oh, that was a roundabout about way to jump across the room. And we're headed up to the uh, corner, nuking the. Uh, Nuking the boss is going to be freaking awesome. Alright, and yep, there is... There he is. Sweet. That was a nice chunk of XP. There you go. Clockwork Thrashing is already proving to be a nice hit. Yeah, we, we have enough lockpicks now, that's for sure, sweet. All right, we'll kill her first. Yep, that was a girl gnome, I totally meant to do that. Critical hits. There you go. So, Critical hits. just killing our way through these lovely enemies. Critical hit. And the higher we get, yeah. All right, we're gonna have a wizard portal. Those are fun. All right, crude steel sword. That's fine. We'll drop it. All right, and I'll be uh, writing that code down here. Z. 
Wrong pin. We gotta use the bullet pin. We are, yeah, Z A N N U Z G O R G O R L I O. So that's a uh, Zangor Alu. We got it. Ah, man, this feels freaking cool. Z A N N U Z G O R G O R L I O O. Boom. And these guys are probably going to have a lot less HP than what I was fighting. Okay, they don't, but... Oh. Alright, I don't want to be taking, the, like, 12 damage, so there we go. And that's one lesson, like, getting... Burglary is one of the best early game abilities, for sure. Alright, that's what I thought. All right, so with knowing that, all right, we're gonna go look at this. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. So I do need to make a clockwork power limb. And that's gonna give us a crap ton of uh, damage. And ideally we'll be going around one-shotting our enemies Fancy pants are quite the upgrade from uh, cutoffs, so we're grabbing those. We're gonna want the swashbuckling bucklers. Let's see. Because ideally, we want to just be walk up, hit the enemy, they die. traps where are they all right so bolt spitters without bolts okay that's interesting mm. sugar I mean if the enemy's just gonna let us kill them we're gonna do it That's a considerably better stat for us. All right, let's look at our uh, weapons. All right. We've got some cool abilities. Part of me is wanting to go ahead and just do the clockwork set because I'm gonna. If not, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this jump. Problem with the uh, rocket jump is it hurts me. Hmm. Actually, want to? I'm gonna look it up to see exactly what kind of damage it does. Rocket jump. Because if, if building the clockwork set, which seems like something we want to do. Ok, 
Okay, I'm on the fandom page, so it doesn't have to give me all the information. I just need to know what it does. Okay. So it deals five damage plus five explosion to self. Plus three to uh, six explosion. Two adjacent tiles. Three. All right. So it does explode. So essentially, we need. Exp All right, so we need fire resistance and explosion resistance to be able to rocket jump around. So we will be going for the clockwork set instead of just purely. Uh, yeah, we'll enjoy we'll enjoy the uh, counter attack we have, but I think just going uh, b bigger armor is a good idea. There we go, and there's a cracked orb, which is pretty si exciting to be honest. I'd, if I were a caster build, I'd be real excited about getting a buffed one of those. Anyway, especially when it looks like it's got buffed uh, magic stats to it. So that was a okay one. Pretty short. We're not doing anything with orbs, so we'll go ahead and drop that there. We'll drop the trap. I don't think we ha have any use for the mushroom. There's an enchant we could do with that. Actually, yeah, there's an enchant we could do with that. And once we get our clockwork uh, thrown weapons, they are the item we're going to be stacking. We'll stack up extra enchants on. But for now, I think we'll be cool with what we got. We'll go ahead and drop you. We're going to drop the plastic ore. No. We're going to drop the plastic ore here specifically because we might use that to make the money in one. All right. We'll do a quick crafting experiment. Let's see. have ingredients page two. And there we go so we're gonna craft this bad boy it'll just sell for more and we weren't looking to use the crude axe all right uh, a slight mistake was made the critic, the critical hits. sweet nay Critical hits. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, so we can't. S do we just want to jump past them? I th think that might be a good idea. Oof. Fish Shrine, we're not going to need you just yet. Hmm. We got Plague Bolt. Sweet. And we even get to keep some of our arrows. may end up doing a uh, bolt focused run at some point although i do feel uh thrown hand weapons it's, if you wanted to do a pure build thrown hand weapons have a slight advantage because you can use piracy to conjure unlimitless ones so that's going to be my next build is kind of an exploit build with that and i think from here we just head down is there anything we want to really craft no we'll just all right, we don't have over 150 random crap at the moment, so we'll just... All right, we will keep the uh, belts because we may need them. We'll ditch the cutoff pants. Yeah, we'll uh, go over here, get rid of y'all. All right, we'll drop the copper wire here. All right, before we head down further, I am going to hit the uh, convenience store... Uh, convenience store is a weird way to call it, but the uh, craft machine over here and just buy it out. All right, we're going to just chance, chance our way through here. Okay, 
It was less damage than our machine. And let's look at craft. Nope. Crafting. Secret recipe. All right, yeah, that does give some explosion resistance, which is freaking good. And looking at our build, and we're going to look at Incrus. If any of these ex provide explosion resistance, that would be nice. We'll definitely be doing rocket thrusters. Hmm. All of these are okay, because they, yeah. Hmm. Yep, so no resistances here. I, w I wonder, does alchemy provide explosion resistance? <laughs> All right, semen, semen's encrust you. The game knew what I was doing there. So there's fire resistance, which is pretty cool. Like if you're do, if you want to do a pure fire build and just spam the last fire attack, that's how you do it. Okay, yeah. Uh, the sneak, the sneak one's pretty dang nice. I wonder how good this is. Unfortunately, none of these are explosions, so good thing we don't have it, I guess. We'll look through the smithing ones. We definitely don't want that one. The problem with this is it spreads our uh, damages out, out across the, you know, too many things. I think we're already spread out between, between that, I don't know. This is a uh, this is a really good one because money. Hmm. These aren't terrible. Minus electric resistance. Dreadmore had there are terrible lightning attacks in this game, so losing lightning resistance is horrifying. This one in here is insane. Not yeah. So that's that's probably the one we're gonna go go for. Stack a ridiculous amount of this. Yeah, this one gives more absorb. Yeah, I think block strats are gonna be the way to go. Uh, joint, we might jo get some joint lubrication just to make our nimbleness not insanely terrible, but yeah, a lot of this is just gonna, you know, it's it, it's just gonna make make it a, our stuff insane, yeah, because that's minus two, that's minus three. So you're pretty much, if you're going this in crush strat, you're pretty much resigning yourself to terrible uh, stats on that front. Well, terrible nimbleness. Mm. But you'll hit a point where just so many enemies can't damage you that uh, it's probably worth it. I think we want to go ahead here so we don't have to go through as much stuff. And we're going to move with our mouse because if it if traps hit us... No, oh, that didn't. I forgot which one that was. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the one right in front of the quest. So, over here. Mashed potatoes. 
There we go. Wait, I'm dumb. It, it's this one, so I need to go... This way. Okay. Booms. Ma mash them. So... One thing is, with this game, you definitely want to take it slow and steady to win this race. Okay, so we want that. We want to this one. I, I, we, we want brass. Platinum's always a go. There we go. I'm not sure about the rest of them, but I'm not too worried about it either. There we go. So we got all the uh, materials from here that we were worried about. So we can go ahead and cross out our note. If we rob a store, it'll be this one just for the uh, caps. All right, now I'm gonna take a quick moment to look over here cause something's flashing on my YouTube. All right, edit. Okay, so that's fixed. All right, so yeah, for some reason it didn't have us listed as Dungeons and Dreadmore, which you know, I don't think I don't know how many people are aggressively looking for this game right now, but you never know. What do you want? Okay. So, uh, Paranox Stomp, which should also give us a recipe. It did not. Oh well. Oh, okay. That's pretty darn good. Alright, uh,. that yeah well those are what we're going to be getting oh, i lost my uh i lost my potion oh well definitely glad to have that that's where that's yeah That's certainly something. this here as a uh, maybe item. No, we're not going to be messing with wands. Alright, for some reason... Alright. Yeah, my uh, key was sticking, which is terrifying. Alright. Don't think we care about the pants too much. We will be uh, dropping you as a crafting item. These are not crafting items. Well, that is a crafting item, technically. Hmm. I have some iron. I think we'll use those real quick just to tie us over with these axes. Let's look at our uh, have ingredients. Yeah, two iron shouldn't set us back too bad on weapons, and that will uh, 
be quite... Yeah, that'll be quite the uh, damage upgrade, I believe. And I definitely am a believer in using using the resources you have. There we go. Now our crit's at 15. Aim's getting higher. That'll allow me to gra grab axe skills. Justify grabbing axe skills. And then I'm only going to get better axes from here. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get better weapons on this floor. We'll definitely grab these bronze bolts and use them. We're dropping the traps here. Hmm. We'll drop the sewer brew. The axes will uh, use you. And we don't ha have our grinder yet, but we'll, we should encounter a room, room with a grinder in it at some point, because it's going to be super silly if we don't. All right, we'll drop this and this. There we go. And we'll drop this tube here. And we'll drop pouches down like this. Chemicals down like this. All right. Eldritch bolts are pretty cool. Oof. We'll use a plague bolt to soften you up. Hmm. Nice. Like every 50 turns or so, I get like a one shot ability. That's pretty not. Nice. Yeah. Not sure what we're going to do with these steel potions. Hmm. Also, something I do want to look at, too, is... I believe there's a crit encrust page. No, that's not it. Yeah, this one right here. Ra razor chains are definitely something we're going to be stacking on our uh, clockwork axes. There we go. I mean, finding the boss that quick is pretty sweet. Nice. Hmm. Oh, he does. He does damage, damage. Okay. Uh, we'll rectify that with a deep omelet. He's. Let's try setting him on fire. The attack has no effect. Uh oh. I'm worried that Eldritch Bolts are just gonna. Let's see. Hmm. What could I take here to make me less likely to die? Let's see. We can try. We can attempt hitting them. Okay, that didn't do the blast effect. I, that didn't do the blast pack effect I had hoped for. Okay, we're gonna just nonchalantly play Ring Around the Rosies for a sec. And now, blast him away. We'll hit him with a plague bolt. There we go. Killed him. So he he was no joke. All right, those potions were both jokes though. Um, recipes were both jokes. Let's see, what are we getting on on here? We're headed down. Right, we're happy to see him. Right, 
alcohol poisoning, man. this okay the poison just didn't do shit a hey, uh, zork mid for his head noise counterattack came in and the clutch and that's a the Baron's Hat's a Gish Hat. When you do a melee attack, it gives you a chance to uh, regen some mana. Dark Orb, I'd be over the moon to see that. If I were someone else. Uh, Crude Steel Axe is uh, something we're probably going to want. So I'm going to just... I'm just going to keep in mind that he has it. We'll go ahead and sell some stuff we don't need. There we go. Feels pretty good. Popping the Radiant Potion to kill that boss would have been acceptable too. We definitely want other. We'll put the uh, Eldritch Bolts down here. And we'll put you, the loot fish, for, you know, where you belong. Hmm. Let's see. What's the next level? Do we have this? All right, so these will give us. These will both give us uh, points in, in the things we need. So we want, yeah. We want the tinkering and metal up, and this will allow us to go down these trees without having to go all the way down, which is pretty sweet. Sweet. And we definitely want to keep killing these baddies. definitely want to get our damage up. Oh, that, felt, that felt good. M murdered the heck out of that octopus. So we, we've got a couple one-shot abilities, which feels nice. Alright, we'll hit him. Yeah, set off a trap, please. I don't think we're using steel potions for any of our enchants, so I don't mind putting that there. Don't think we need radiant potion either, so sweet. Midas potion we'll use immediately because it's a damage up. And it's on hit, so there we go. We can use it without worrying about it running away. So that's going to be money for us. There's nothing in the fridge. And I'm excited for this first monster zoo coming up, up because we're going to nuke the crap out of it with these bolts. Critical hit. Hmm. All right, next time we find stairs, we're going to go back up. Oh, wait, we already did the wizard portal. So we'll mark that out. We'll do the uh, hit here. And we'll do this. Yep, our big ol' air stomp does some pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And this build only gets cooler, because, like, yeah. Sweet. Uh, girdle. Absorption and block sounds pretty tempting, but I think we'll uh, sleep on it for now, for the moment. We'll definitely keep those in stock, and we got some nice little shots to shoot. Grinding up our XP. Hmm. Definitely gonna do it this way. Hmm. Plus two nimbleness might be an upgrade. Did get our sneak up. I would I think counter is better than sneak, so we'll definitely take some free flame attacks. It always feels good to get the uh, buff when we're in a position to use it. All right, we'll uh, eat something here. Coral wand is great. The critical hits. We are getting some mileage out of this uh, flame potion. Nice. Oh, cool. That works. Okay, so we finished off that little corner. This du dungeon's sectioned off interestingly. Makes me wonder if there's gonna be a big line of stuff up here. Alright, we don't want the spear. We'll dump you here. boys down. Don't think we need this less sons. May end up selling those. I think we may need these for crafting, so we'll go ahead and drop them. I need a bunch of steel. I do have uh, chalk. I just don't have the coal for it. Or the iron for that matter. So it's like, hmm. Alright, lockpicks for lockpicks. Those are the gloves I wanted for counterattacking. Some uh, bolts. Ooh, tentacle wand. So we really have like the uh, wipe the rooms out greatest hits. We'll be using both of those to just. All right. We'll do that. We 
We're definitely going to want more Trap Affinity. Hmm. That made the uh, slidey wall sound, so we know that there's... Yep, wall slid behind. We got more bronze, which is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep going this way. Potion of Invisibility is something we're going to keep on hand because it's an absolute lifesaver. We'll drop this here. We'll put these where... Molotov just isn't as effective as it could be, so we'll kind of put you there for now. Alright, we got the Pam Oil here. We'll go ahead and put that here. Drop the ring. Drop the adventurer's gloves over here. Right. Drop that sword. Drop all these books. And eventually this room is gonna, as I kinda got a bigger head for what I'm trying to do, do into my craft, at the end of my crafting, you're going to see a lot of this stuff disappear. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, we'll put you like that. Where do we want the gems? We'll just put the gems like this. Powders ain't a big deal, so we'll just put them up like this. And then from here, just do the gems from the bottom. Alright, platinum. Let's go ahead and, and uh, hit those. There you go. Wrapped them around. Put the drums on the outer rim of it. Boom. So we'll be able to see. The important thing is that we can see see them all. I think we have any of the meat recipes yet, but there we go. And we'll drop the cube one there. Put you in here. I don't think we care about the makeshift bombs too much. We do care about being able to tag someone and run from them, so we'll do that. And we'll drop the radiant potion there because I think we'll be crafting with it. Mana potion. I don't think we yet. Yep. There we go. So I hope y'all like crafting, because we're going to be doing a lot of it. But it'll be, it'll be worth it. We'll be hitting a point where we don't need to craft anymore. With relative ease. Man, these guys are, are uh, doing a toll on me. That was rough, but we survived it. Oof. 
we'll, we'll just be eating these cheeses. Not having a grinder sucks. All right, we got more invisibility at least. Robe of the Warlock. There you go, Clockwork Thrashing for the win. And this is the dicey times, because, yeah, we will, yeah, it won't be long before we have a full set of in-game armor and all that fun stuff. Definitely eat the mushrooms as we got them. Iron is good for us. We we'll might be able to turn upgrade it to steel. And there we go. Grab all that. Charcoal, sweet. That's gonna be that's gonna be steel for us. Hmm. All right, that's a portal to a near end game area. little area for us to check here. Hmm. Nice. I think these guys are weak to slashing. Perfect. So we'll do this move now. And with that up, now we can go for this for smithing, which we've so far gotten one, two, so this will put us to three, 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 which means we will need to go much further down these two trees if we go for it. All right, so now we can craft the Imperial Clockwork Helm. And the reason I'm, all right, that's, Oh, okay, cool. So then we can do stuff like this. Nice. Oh, cool. Uh, right, the thermotic dampener will protect you from most from most physical projectiles and explosions but each time an enemy hits you the shield will uh, drain energy okay so we just uh ch yeah all right so we just chug mana to keep that up Just chug drinks as we get them. Hmm. All right, uh, just some big old piercing bolts. Nay. So with our two, two steel, we'll be able to uh, craft, start getting our bow up. I wish Mysterious Portal showed up on the map. Then again, if, yeah, Mysterious Portal. Okay. 
There, so West Center stairs down. So that's going to be potentially game winning for us, depending on what's there. Thrashing is doing its job. We just need the uh, clockwork axe. Alright, we're gonna take a risky hit here and do this. Minus dodge, that's lame. Okay, it was a risk. It'd have been nice if we got some cool ass ability, but no, got it. The guy, the guy, guess the gods, gods. Yeah, I should have worshipped to the. I should have called on the queen, not Krong. All right, that was an enchant we didn't care about. A critical, a critical hits. Getting fifty hits, pretty cool. That. too much about this enchant. There we go. In fact, we're going to let it go back up. That way we can reuse it once we get to a different place. Hmm. Bronze is always nice to see. All we really want to see is a just crap ton of steel. Hmm. Alright, we'll, uh... Do you have anything we would like to hit you with here? Alright, boom. Noise counterattacks, plastic. We'll just start doing this. Pitchforks. And the game is not short on uh, useless pole arms for us. Thankfully, they, we haven't seen the other shops for this level yet. There's still, there's, there can still be some awesome items hiding for us. Critical hits. Nice. our way through here and we are getting more powerful that's for sure Nice little combos here. 
Definitely don't hit her with that one. And we're gonna put these here. And we're definitely gonna be using arrows and stuff aggressively. As you know, why not? Critical hits. Got 22 ar arrows should uh, help carry us a little bit. And our old clubs. And those Tesla mines are after us. It's almost like I named my character Edison. Oh heck yes. Alright, I'm going to take a quick restroom break, and when we get back, we're going to go into the Magical Wizard Portal. Clockwork Knights, I'm biting. We got our two woods and axes. Hopefully we find a better one or we're going to have to start crafting. Spell wasn't too big a deal. A critical hit. Hmm. Eh, good a time as any. You know what? Screw you. <laughs> Yeah, that boss was pretty dang powerful. Hmm. You know a boss is powerful when a Dang bolt of mass destruction doesn't destruct his ass. And yeah, we aren't looking to make the uh, mace that requires those, so they are free real estate. Crafting. Alright, we'll be able to craft this real soon. It's 
yeah. We're just going to need to uh, get one more point in tinkering, which we'll be doing next level. And we get our final clockwork ability. Iron, sweet. Uh, those are stats. Counter-attack stick, sweet. Alright, we're gonna go check this room too. Kinda don't wanna end up, uh, you know, I wanna go through here a little more efficiency, efficiently for the, uh, Sick of my loving audience, yeah. Oh, staff. Your inventory is full. There we go. Go ahead and drop here. Drop that. Pretty sure I won't need another stick. We'll drop the gnarled club just in case we change our mind. We'll drop. We'll just drop the iron here. We'll drop these here. We'll drop one of you here because you are actually pretty useful. A few here. If we need to craft with Yayo, we will. And having redundancies of our crafting materials is good because it'll allow us to kind of play our luck. Right, turn secret recipe off. Okay, we'll drop the cutoffs. That'll make us some zonk zonknoids or whatever. There we go. Because, you know, a rule in fa fashion. Just because something's worth less, less of, is worth less does not mean it's worth less. And we're definitely going to be stacking our drinks in another spot. It's like, yeah, we don't really have a way to just keep thermatic, kinetic dampering up. We'll go ahead and craft these bad boys. And those will lead to some enchants we need, so that feels pretty good. And we'll drop the platinum and the aluminum. And we're up to six aluminum, so that that's dandy. And how much blasting powder are we at? Two. We're up to the chalk. Let's see, we do need steel. I'm going to wait until we have steel to go grab it. Plus, I do want my power work axe. I'm definitely glad we checked there first. Alright, we'll go ahead and shoot the helm. And you know what? We'll even use this ability here. Yep, we can definitely see traps. Sweet. Bunch of blasting powder, bunch of chalk. Graves of Hans. A brief member of the heroic friends, Hans did not manage to even start his great adventure. While mixing up a batch of his special thunderbomb potions in the inn, several surrounding structures collapsed in a burst of flames. Then the uh, rubble exploded. Hans' adventuring companions swore to official investigators that the whole thing was some kind of coincidence. Swamp gas, maybe, and they didn't even know the guy very well. Besides, who knows where he got, got off to. Ooh, that. That reminds me of our last run. Oh, it's real tempting to go for those. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to go for more valuable stats. I don't want to die. I'm an adventuring glove. Technically not an upgrade, but it's always cool to see good. Yeah. 
trap site is a uh, utility one, I would say. Loot fish shrine for what it's worth. I'd say it's worth less. The problem with them is, yeah, you can stack up a huge build, like if you have hunting or something like that, but we don't have hunting or something like that, so. Okay. All right. I think what we have now is just better. Water was poisoned. Hmm. I think a whole, uh, I think absorption is going to be worth a little more to us. Killed one of them. Critical hits. Hmm. There you go. You hear that? You can't cast any magic now. Definitely not what we wanted. Ooh, and that, that that's kind of a... Yeah, like, you gotta really want Grog to uh, trade bombs for him. Hmm. We'll go ahead and start off with this. Step back. Yep, taking two damage from him ain't the worst. Oops. Yeah, the, you, we want to limit the amount of oopses we run into, but there we go. We did do that. An aluminum p tube is great. We craft with those. This is what we want to see because we're going to definitely craft with that. We got 2,000 bucks, so we will be able to craft something, and there's probably a store nearby. So, this is the uh, combo to get the craft bucket up, which is what we're going to be getting until we're no longer crafting, and then we'll be getting the uh, other ones. That was something we needed. Great. Steel is um, and iron are good commodities. I think everything else is whatever. We'll go ahead and just grab that because it doesn't matter. We'll grab copper because that helps. We're gonna go ahead and grab grab it. It cost us a bit of money, set us back, but it's worth it. That's gonna allow us to do this. Also, be very careful because we don't want to craft that. Oh, cheese. And with that all the way, we're going to keep be able to craft some better potions now. Which one do we want to do? Let's see. First, let's go ahead and flatten these. Okay. Omelets are omelets are good for us. They're delicious and nutritious. We'll go ahead and craft. Uh, we'll definitely go ahead and craft some steel. And platinum and copper. Yep. We do need bronze, but I'm not going to go ahead and craft, craft it right away just in case we need the copper for another meta ingredient. Oh, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to our goals. I didn't go to the dang portal, which was... I didn't go to the dang magic portal. Oh, uh... I know it was towards the entrance from one going up, so... I think it was near the Mellow Shrine? I don't know. Oh, well. 
those aren't aren't crit those aren't mission critical and to be frank yeah but we'll uh, we'll get it if we see it again What's your deal? All right, 34 health. You, you are not a big deal. Hmm. To regain power. Hmm. That was a bit scary, but... Nice. I'm gonna turn that off. This isn't a ma magic run, so we're gonna use thematic dampener when it's necessary, not... Not just keep it on at all times. Hmm. All right, a bunch of iron, which is sweet. Nice. I should have hit that one first. So keep that in mind for next combat. Here, let's see. Okay, some apples. Yeah, I'm pretty resigned not to not to make wands. There, those uh, coral wands are fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's micromanaging, and we're gonna reach a point pretty quick where we're just not getting hit. There we go. Gonna get rid of you. Keeping the gloves just in case I need to craft with them. Don't think we're gonna need the uh, helm. All right, we'll pop in here. Go ahead and drop the wand too. And we'll drop that wand. Drop you, drop you, drop you, drop you, drop you. Drop you and you. There we go, got our loot together. We'll drop this cheese here. I'm pretty sure I thought we had bread, but I don't I don't see it, so we'll chill on that. Alright, we have two three still at the moment. That's pretty that's pretty dandy. Alright, we'll go ahead and drop the tin and the copper as well. There we go. And we'll just do that to those. And we'll go ahead and drop this rod over here. Yep, plenty of iron. We'll go ahead and craft that now. Yeah, we're on our way to getting all the steel we need, which feels good. This bucket, we're not gonna put a bucket on our head. Now, 
my big question is, how are we going to kill Dreadmore? It's not a big question for me. I already know how we're going to do it. It's just, yeah. I guess, yeah. Pretty much the plan will be to petrify them and then whomp them. All right, we're going to have to head back to the Mellow Shrine. Looks like we're headed that way anyways, which is great. Great stone axe, which is nothing. Got him. Jeez. We have thrashed him. Eat our omelets. Okay, this is a big deal room. Wait, no, it's not. I thought I thought chests were about to spawn. So we're going to do a little number four maneuver here. Let's see, is there a buff we want to use here? Eh, no reason not to go ahead and use a dark potion. I don't think we're crafting with them. This is going to allow us to uh, shoot one of these bad boys in. Alright, and we're doing pretty good on the health front. That should be enough to uh, soften them up. Yeah, this was not quite how we had hoped the room would be. Again, there's an invisible boy who can really hurt us. Poison you didn't seem seem seemed like a good idea in the moment. What happens if we hit you with this? Hmm. It's doing a little bit of damage to you. Hmm. 
All right, and our shield is pretty much removed, I think. Let's see, do we have any mana potions? We definitely don't want to do the kabooms. Uh, Invisibro, where are you? I mean, if y'all want to set off traps, do that all day, please. We'll do the uh, stomp here. The hit there. Hmm. Get our health back up, which feels pretty good. Okay, well, that removed our uh, shield. Killed most of them. Ugh, this is a messier dungeon than I normally get done. Not screw it. We used all our bolts of destruction here. Whew. Getting a southbound uh, unit like that is rough. Go ahead and use the last charge on our wand. On the bright side, we only have 18 monsters left in that. We have 18 monsters left in that zoo. That's not the bright side, that's just a... Uh... Alright, and you're... You're living your best life over here. Not do four for that was one, two, three, four of those bad boys. Whew, this is not the boss boss you want to be fighting here. And so he's right there, I, I guess. Right, we'll pop that bad boy. Hmm. Marco Polo. I would like you. Jeebus! Okay, so what do I have he here in the ways of healing? Because this is not going to plan. Normally, very often when I'm doing a dungeon like this, I just annihilate them, but this boss right here is doing some nasty things to me. pop another omelet and we're even gonna do a potion of steel here because like I do not want to die hmm. and everything here is resistant to the stuff I have which is real lame all right we'll poison you if toxic damage is doing all right okay right, and I think this we'll use the uh, Piercing bull link to that. Oh. Alright, we'll do this maneuver here. Alright, they do frost. We're gonna go ahead and pop this potion of frost. Let's uh, pop over here. All right, killed some of them. 
and pop that last egg. Hitting someone when they got four health is scary. We're back up to 14. Hopefully we get something cool out of here. I mean, it's RNG, so I'm not going to be sad if we don't, but it's like, I feel we are earning our way here. And we spent, we spent resources. And we know the last one is the uh, Edge Witch, which we're going to come at. And there he is, I suppose. There we go. And he killed, apparently. And we're going to hit him with a bolo. Those mass AoEs are not something we enjoy. This is the most challenging. This this is the hardest of monsters he's been for me, and mostly because I'm lacking oomph here. All right, we're gonna do this maneuver on him. This should be the end. But he keeps going invisible on us. It's like, come on, where are you? He's been healing too, which is not what we. Hey, is that him over there? And he hits for 13. All right, we're gonna do this for the stun. This for the hit. This for the hit. Ooh, all right, we leveled up. And we'll get this last move here. All right, that gave us the Imperial Clockwork Plate. Good. And that's the reason we beelined that tree in the first place was so that we could get the get the recipes, and that'll make it more likely that we get the clockwork axe and the other things we want. Hmm. And that was rough. Sweet. That's going to give us blast resistance. We'll let it, that'll let us do the jump more. It's got damage on it. It's got resistances on it. I'm so, definitely sold. We'll have capped block. Okay, and with that in mind, we should be able to drastically improve our uh, damage here. Also, we're going to look at our inventory. That was a silver ring, which immediately disappointed me. Yeah. Unfor it's unfortunate. Fi yeah. Fire resistance. It's like... Hmm. Fire resistance I'm actually kind of attracted to, mainly because one magic resistance is nothing, and one health is nothing. One fire resistance... Our... Um, we want at least five fire resistance, so that's actually okie dokie. Hmm. Plus a little extra mana up ain't the worst. Alright, so we're going to drop you. Now we're going to look at our crafting. Alright, so to make this... Oh, wait. We don't have it? Alright, so we have three then. Okay. Alright, so next level we'll be able to make this. So we're going to be beelining tinkering because we won't... We won't... Yeah. All this cool stuff. Hmm. There we go. And we'll be upgrading it to this one, which is going to be five... Yeah, so... Yeah, so we'll definitely be able to make those clock clockwork power limbs. Cool. Now I assume that those go in the ring slot. 
Now, if they're a buff that you can just make continuously, Lee, that would be cool, but... So we need to level up one more go. I do want to see what this is a uh, safe environment that we could do this on. All right, so we're going to hit six here. Okay, hold on. All right. We're going to go to switch our. I, I need to switch my mouse. I normally play Nova Drift, which, by the way, I have games queued up and ready to go up next week. We're going to switch over to just default. There we go. That's complete. Sweet. We got on, on Her Majesty, so that's a nice achievement. And let's see. I'm hitting six here. I want to try this out. Oh, to regain health. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's... Well, that was terrifying. I'm definitely glad we tried that in a, a, a safe environment. Because that... That, that, was, that was awful. That was awful. Eat those. So that will be cool when we, we build up our resistances a frick ton with the complete set of armor for it. Hmm. They only do four damage, so we'll be okay. Especially if we dodge him. So, we've got a lot of our spells now. We are going to be hyper-focused on getting our armor and stats up. We've got our steel. So that's great news. we got this. <laughs> so we've got the... We're a complete clockwork knight, knighted up. Let's see, what are we doing here? Oh, got another wand. Alright, we'll do the little uh, 50 toss. Eat some cheese here. Yep, so our counterattack's gonna be decent. Alright, so we've, we're getting, we got plenty of steel now. It's just a matter of getting our crafting skills up. We're getting lucky on drops. Critical hit. All right. Uh, the Baron is a nice little yeah. Capra the Opera Coffee. So he's not the Baron. Hmm. Okay, so. Hmm. We'll definitely grab you. Definitely grab you. Yeah, we're gonna want pretty much all four of these. Where am I on the map? Alright, so. Man, this is an inconvenient layout. So we're going to need to find a shop. Hopefully there's a shop at the uh, end of this. Hmm. We're at 22 health right in the face of this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and do this for safety. 
Alright, that's rough. We're gonna go ahead and pop the steel potion. And let's see, we'll go ahead and pop this mushroom, pop this cheese. That's rough. Okay, uh, we'll pop. We'll eat the meat. We de yeah, we definitely need to get our gear on. Hmm. All right, we're gonna do the uh, jump hit. All right, I don't think dark damage is gonna do much to him. We'll go ahead and use uh, these arrows here. And we are going to do Rocket Fist. Sweet. Okay, please be a shop. Nope. Okay, we're, we're still going to be fine. I definitely want to keep this up a little bit. Life, our life's looking a little skimpy at the moment. I mean, we're going to hit a point where we're untouchable with this build, and we're not going to have to worry about traps and everything like that, but we're not quite there yet. We're in the makings of it. Oh man, so is there only one shop on this floor? Alright, so there's a possible spot here. Right, we do need to head to the Mellow Shrine. There are teleporters, but I don't know exactly where they are. Uh, we value our health right now, so the trap can stay where it is. And we're headed up. Man, this is a pain in the butt layout. This is why uh, the dig ray is worth it on its own for exactly this reason. We're gonna go ahead and ditch you for now. You're just draining our mana. Hmm. Four lock picks. That's that was worth. That was pretty worth it. Hopefully this quest item gives us a nice axe or gives us something that can hold us over or gives us one of our crafting components. That'd be cool too. All right, we're going to take you and we're going to place you on the Miller Shrine. All right, that is a considerable damage up. And considering that we have a axe that debuffs us, we're going to do that for now, because we only need one axe to get the axe stuff. I think it just, uh, yeah. We're going to want two clockwork axes because they're awesome, but we don't need them right, right at this second. There we go. And getting, yeah, getting extra vision is is fine. Getting uh, five damage is cool. And this is the women's shaver, which is one of the fun joke items. I think I'm just going to keep the big map up, because why not? Oh yeah, we're going to go make some money. I want to buy out that craft machine, so now's a good time to go do that. Also, I wonder, is there an Easter egg here? Alright, we're going to do a nice little four jump. Critical hits. Okay, so you can move the coffin. There wasn't loot in it, though. Okay, that's not it. 
somewhere on this floor there's a, a portal I didn't take, but not super concerned about it. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and sell these. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one because it's, it's cursed. I don't like. I don't like. My dodge, dodge isn't going to be my biggest stat, but it's still a negative. Why take a negative we'll give when you could keep a positive? We'll keep the crude iron axe for the moment, just in case we uh, crack and want to uh, get it. Hmm. Alright, we're going to sell you the Baron's hat. This one. Sell you this wand. Keep that one. Sell you the trap. Alright, we're going to... Alright, there we go. Mouse is working better now. We're going to do this little number real quick. All right, we're gonna do this number real quick. All right, no, we're not. <laughs> all right, we're gonna grab all this cheese. We're gonna do this number with the cheese real quick. Craft. Mmm, craft and cheese. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop these off. And believe me, if you're looking at all this, this is going to be real good for us soon. I should pr probably craft craft the bow. I just, I'm not sure which one I need for the uh, super special secret bow. The clockwork deflector is also... It's interesting, but I definitely think dual wielding is still better. Because, like, if you want counter-attack, why are you using a shield? Alright, this one... This helmet does provide resistances we need. The Imperial Clockwork Plate provides resistance we need. Imperial Clockwork Helm. Cool. Alright, not all of these are secret recipes, so we are going to uh, do this. Oh, yeah, here's one we want to craft. Uh... Sweet, yeah, that's we're gonna craft that. And we're gonna work on getting our crit up so that the fact the enemies can dodge us because we're gonna have like no dodge or incredibly low uh, aim. And we already have 18 crit without out our end game build, so we're, we're gonna cap that faux show. All right, we'll drop the crude iron axe here. Well, here, we'll drop another set of gloves here all right I'm gonna drop you here all right we're gonna drop these bad boys like this actually I don't know how much we need any of these so we're just gonna make the gym. We'll make the gems one pile. I know we'll, we'll set diamonds specifically to the side because there's a specific enchant I want to do with them. So what we'll do is pearls, then like everything else. All right, we got steel. All right, we'll go ahead and grab our chalk too because I do know we, that we won't steal. And like, even if we accidentally craft too much steel out of our iron, we uh, we have consumables we want to make with steel, so we're not in danger of having too much of it. So we have eight steel ingots at the moment. We're going to take a quick look through our uh, things. Because it's like, hmm. We are going to want a supreme, yeah, so eight. Yeah, that's definitely, the uh, steel Curtis is going to cost us, set us back quite a bit to make. So we're gonna we're gonna keep up with this. Uh, we got eight eight of it though, and we still have three iron. So that's pretty stinking nice. We'll drop the aluminum. We'll drop the uh, blasting powder. We can go ahead and take you down further down here. We know we're gonna be using you. And we'll go ahead and drop these. Uh, well, we'll take the replenishment potion. That's pretty good. Now, let's take a look at all this. 
I might need the steel axe, but I don't know that for sure. Yeah. I was getting all efficient and ready to leave. I was like, whoops. All right, we're gonna drop all these bad boys. Whoop. All right, we're gonna drop the foot pedal here. Scroobs here. And, all right, cool, we have the battery. Now if all that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and grab all these. Okay, so this is going to be a two-tripper, not a big deal. Alright, we're going to go Alt-1, so... There we go, so I sold all that. We're going to do Alt-1 and then Sill. We're not, yeah. All right, now we're good. I'm going to go ahead and grab these, use them as, as weapons. And we're going to grab the rest of this. And with that, we're going to be able to go enough for the uh, crafting regions we want. So yeah, taking time to uh, combine the axes in the early early game, combining axes and yeah, we'll go ahead and disarm it. The game does not want me doing those. Okay. Also, good to notice this. We're gonna be nerfing our damage with this to nothing, so go ahead and going ahead and getting them sold is a good idea. Yeah. And we aren't messing with alchemy. There we go. So we're up to eight thousand. Alright. We're gonna take a look into these teleports. Yep, that got us where we want to be. And I believe that's where the uh, portal is. Nope. Hmm. What happens if I do this to your grave? Nope. All right, we'll try the uh, jump move. All right, we, have, we can move his grave around. But it's not like an Easter egg. I don't know every aspect of this game, so ex a little experimenting. We can have a little experimenting as a treat. Hmm. Right, I am going to go look over here. Okay, so it wasn't over here. Man, not getting that magic por portal is bugging me. We don't want to be sprayed with acid, so we'll just use this teleporter. Did that send me? Hmm. And yeah, that sends us to the uh, mysterious portal, which we don't want to go through. Oh, yeah. Ah, man. The, this is probably the worst second floor I've, I've ha had to fight my way through. Good news is traps are going to stop being an issue soon because we're going to be working on getting our trap affinity up. I'm not going to complain about that. Holy crap. Yeah, it even has a, little, has a good stat on it. Like, yeah, it's a good damage types, and it's got magic resistance, which is what it is. 
All right, so uh, shooting things with arrows just got a lot more attractive. It's always nice when a plan comes together. All right, so even though that looked like a way to go in, oh yeah, that's because I blew up the wall earlier. So we're still a little undergeared, which is an issue, but we're working our way through it. All right, do we want to bother buying? Yeah, no. Although, ooh, I'm definitely going to be uh, making some of those. Don't think four would be worth 1,500. Yeah, there we go. That gives us some something to shoot. This could be our clockwork axe, which would be awesome. Critical hits. There you go, clockwork thrashing is doing its job. Hmm. Alright, we'll do the uh, jump here. Which worked, sweet. Thankfully, diggles are raging diggles are not the worst. We'll go ahead and hit you with this. Yes, that's right. Run in fear of me. The uh, Clockwork Tesla Rod. I mean, it, it certainly gets cool points from me. Thankfully, 30 health being low is pretty nice. Alright, that didn't work how I thought. Definitely gonna pop this life potion. There we go. We're gonna do that for safety, then we're gonna do the uh, switcheroo attack. Nice. I'll be in my bunk, okay. Well, go to your bunk. I'm certainly not stopping you, you can go. thrashing for the win. That's going to get silly when we have the chance for it to proc three times. And that's an uber chest that's already open. Right, what kind of goodies are inside? A sword that does consider even more damage. Uh, I think at the moment we just ignore the fact we have a have axe mastery since we're at the bottom of it. Because that, I, I, it's hard to argue against astral damage. Oh, okay, he got hit. We'll go ahead and hit him again. Pretty sure we can hit it. We might be doing less damage. Hmm. Aluminum tube is a nice item, though. Hmm. Go ahead and pop the egg. Oh, I should have crafted an omelet with that. Oh, well. Right, we'll go ahead and use the Narwand. Right, 
We're gonna do that. Okay, so we are surviving. And we're about to hit a lot harder once we get our next hands. So that's 13, 14 damage. Okay, comparatively speaking, the axe... Yeah, having the axe is better than having the uh, razor just marginally. Wizard sleeve. Alright, nothing too exciting here. We can go ahead and sell him some stuff though. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and sell that. Go ahead and sell that. The, uh, that's the iron plate one. I'm I believe we need to still play one, but let's look at crafting. Let's see. So I'm gonna do page down to see if there's like any belts in here that I overlooked. We're not gonna need that. We are gonna need that. That's gonna that's gonna be a nice fit real soon. That's Imperial bo Boilerplate versus Secret Recipe. Imperial Clockwork Plate, okay. And do I have the ability to make the Night Helm? Definitely gonna have to make that one. Yeah, there's a uh, steel girdle that we'd prefer to have. Hmm. We'll be going for damage, but yeah. Long game. Like I, I have vivid memories of tons and tons and tons of uh, of, of various uh, axes and getting them early and all that cool stuff and solar axes. Like I, th I think the last game I had like three solar axes and two lunar axes. All right. So usually there's three shops a floor. Where am I missing? There's no way to go here. There's a tiny little sliver here, but I don't think that's a missing spot. We don't have any quests left. I am going to go to the uh, craft spot, which I believe is this sliver right here. Yep. So we're going to head that way and then head down to the next floor. Let's see. We are going to be careful. Critical hits. Those are going to hit so much harder here shortly. Alright, so we do need to go this way. Okay, well, we'll do this maneuver then. Critical hits. Is it this room right here? Um, Cause I do, oh, okay, here's the crafting spot one. We could go ahead and grab the pearl just in case. Oh, that's a, uh... all right, 
we're gonna do that. Yeah, who's the magic one now? Noise. Yeah, that's the that's not the magical one. Is it over here? I don't think yeah, I don't think it's over here, so I think Alright, he's in one of these cubbies. All right, so is it up here in the top? We'll go ahead and let him be dead. All right. Elect electricity's out to get me this game. Ooh. turns the stun and was on our side. Cryptigal is not attacking me at the moment, so we'll leave her be. Didn't hit her, there we go. Great XP, some cash. Okay, uh, we'll go check down here last, I suppose. There is, wait, no. All right, so crafting machine is all the way down this way. Graves of Linus, a powerful summoner and collector of exotic animals. Linus asked that be, he be buried with all his favorite pets. Unfortunately for them, he died young. I mean, they're doing one, he's doing one necro damage to me. I'm not not too bothered by that. Critical hits. This was the crafting machine that we were poor at. We're gonna grab that silver, grab that, grab that, grab that. Cool. So we spent some money, but it took and went a little bit bit out of our way, but I feel that was worth it. Alright, and we'll head on down. Hmm. So we killed that bastard. Oh, what do we do to heal here? Yeah, this might be the uh, first game where I actively seek to buy heals. I'm kind of partial to cast caster builds and uh, range builds specifically for this reason. Oof. Plague bolts are gonna actually be pretty good for us. We got we got a nice bow on the last floor. That that is something we're pretty ha grateful for. We'll uh, keep those highlighted for now. Lightly let them follow us for a little bit. There 
go. And we'll be able to do our move again soon. There we go. Sweet. The critical hits. Our clockwork uh, popping off on counterattack is pretty sweet. Hit at him. There we go. We were able to use the environment to our advantage, which felt great. We definitely got enough of those. And we have a consumable we want to make out of those, which is, which is going to be pretty good. We just got a bunch of uh, AoE confusion projectiles, which is pretty good for us. Hmm. A clone. Not a very good clone resemblance. It's all goopy and its eye rails are too small. This monster is trying to kill you. Alright, that's interesting. We are going to hit you with a bolo. And then we'll... Let's see. Pack. Hit you with that. Hit you with the second one of those. combo there we want to stay away from him because he we we put an aoe on him that's hurting us pretty badly by any means necessary, right? We'll jump to here. I think using the meat as heals is a good idea right now. If we have to sacrifice something. Ooh, and two eggs. So we will definitely do this real quick. That next level is going to be a huge damage up for us because we're going to craft a bunch of stuff. That's going to increase our damage. Hmm. Hmm. We'll definitely make use of this wand. You. Sweet. Tech Savage got us a voltage still and some aluminum piping. Okay. Hmm. Now seems to be a good time to do that. be no doing no damage to us in no time hopefully by the end of this floor but right now they are doing damage to us hmm. if i if i did this again i would definitely go for uh, straight crafting first but like hopefully this wor works it out because the uh, idea here is that we'll be you know we'll be getting the re recipes because my biggest worry is if we don't get the clockwork recipe we're not gonna we might not not get the axe at all 
All right, he's got thermite infection on him, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and hit him with that. Go ahead and use this bolt to soften them both. Hmm. Now's a good time to use these Bolo Boys. Hmm. Cool, they both died. <laughs> not gonna mess with the acid spray. Your mind, and we're definitely not gonna step in there. And that, yeah. That was a dangerous area. More lockpicks. How are we on the uh, lockpick economy? 55. All right, so we're we're pretty good on lockpicks. I do love me some clockwork thrashing and that is a bookshelf and we love bookshelves. Alright, inventory. We couldn't be we're not too bothered by all. We'll eat the fell troll truffle while we're at it. We're not too bothered by y'all. Hmm. Yeah, there's the uh, bolts I stole. Sweet. So that that's gonna help us out. Probably closer to getting rid of those soon because we are definitely getting tinkering up. All right, that's a uh, s hmm. getting rid of the blunt damage sounds like a good idea. Four astral damage is pretty good, but the slashing will get us there better. Plus we get the uh, double buff from whatevs. Alright, we're dual wielding axes, which is pretty sweet. We've got our AoE ability, so... We can use a Plague Bolt on you. Alright, we're going to do our jump ability here. Critical hit. And we have leveled, and with that, that's a good moment for us, because one, we get in more trap affinity, two, we can finally make our weapons, so we're going to do that now. Alright, so what do we need right now? We got tinkering. It is go time. Okay, so first off, we're going to make these. There we go. Okay, so we can turn aluminum pipes into shivs, which would I would not recommend. Okay, and now we'll do... Alright, going over to tinkering. Yeah, alright, this would be a million times more enjoyable if it considered any item in your wizard portal uh, craftable. Like, yeah, you can craft with that, it's in your magic portal. Okay, so we want our brass pipe. 
brass mechanisms and our spring-loaded power core, which we have those. All right, spring-loaded power core, brass mechanisms, craft, sweet. And we'll equip those bad boys. And we'll go and do an encrust on those bad boys too. Right, yeah, we're gonna throw out, uh, we're gonna uh, grab our aluminum pipes. Grab a piece of iron. Grab some blasting powder. And we're gonna make these blast much harder. And I'm feeling, sp I am feeling spicy. See? All right, so this is based off the first one. That means there's a predominant, it's most likely not gonna screw up. Yeah, I feel fairly comfortable uh, making this roll. Oh yeah, having that on us sucks, but let's see, our, we go for tinkering. Yep, I think, yeah, we'll have to use two of them, but that's not too big a deal. And now we'll go back to encrust, go back down and boom. Dang it! Ah, uh, uh, thermotropic. What does that even mean? Okay. All right, we're going to experiment with these a little bit now. That was a low t that was a 12% uh, chance to corrupt, so feeling pretty bad about that. We're going to find out what Thermotropic does. I do want to find out what thermotropic pick means, so I'm gonna be wailing on enemies for a little bit. That's oh, still others, I suppose. There we go. Does this mean every enemy does transmutative damage to us? That's annoying. But it looks like it wasn't the end of the world. Uh, hmm. All right, we got, it looks like we had some people popping in. All right, let's see if, if there's uh, something telling us what this does, cause like, we just dumped a lot of resources into these gloves, only for them to uh, get a, the unstable the first go. Let's see, Dungeons of Dreadmoor.
right. Yeah, there ain't shit on here. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not just I'm just not going to worry about it. If I see a terrible effect hit me, I'll know, I'll know it was the gloves. Anyways, let's uh let's do a little more crafting. Now, what was the next thing I wanted to craft? Wanted to craft. Let's see secret recipe. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure attachment goes means is uh, fan it goes into the ring slot. That would be my guess, anyways. Right, so we're gonna grab brass and make some brass mechanisms. There we go, and with our brass mechanisms. Pretty sure we're gonna need those, so feel comfortable doing that. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting to see what thermatic does. I could. It really bothers me that it won't just tell you what the encrust does. Like, like enough that I almost don't want to play because, like, like the it propositions this cool thing and it's like, oh, ha, 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 it might kill you. It's like, I've been streaming for hours, bro. I really don't don't want to restart because one of the things I stacked on me did an effect that I had no way of knowing. So just, yeah, thermatic. That sounds like it does heat fire damage to me or blast damage or something. I was taking therapeutic damage from some people. If it just at, makes my make, take extra additional damage when enemies hit me, that's fine. But I'm definitely going to be paying attention for effects to pop up and things like that. Okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it on anything thing that I don't have a backup for from this point forward. All right, and I need my steel. Right, secret recipes. Hmm. And I will be looking to re replace those gloves as soon as I can. All right, so we're gonna make one of these. Right, does this go where I think it does? Yes, it does. Sweet. What are we dropping here? Well, let's see. We don't need any of this. Hmm. Now we'll go ahead and drop you and you, and we'll drop our aluminum. We'll drop this one and this one. Where's that? All right, we're gonna need another one of these, I suppose. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, we'll grab this bad boy. Well, we can't craft that one yet, but we will need to. So we do need to create a uh, spring-loaded power core. So we'll go to page up. Right, where is our spring-loaded power cores? Okay, so we'll craft... Oh, that gave us three of those. Pretty decent. Then we'll go have ingredients. Alright, what am I missing now? Do I not have enough? Alright, we're good. We have use. Alright, so what do I need? Brass mechanisms. Alright, so I need one more brass mechanism to make that. Alright, so to make brass I need copper. Let's see, what do I need to make brass? We're going to go to plate. Alright. Alright, do we have any zinc? I'm going to drop the uh, scrap piping here. And we'll drop you here, brass mechanisms here. Bring power core, go ahead and drop that there. Stem shooter there. So, yeah. Eventually we'll be uh, non-stop critting, so the uh, aim down it ain't a huge deal. Hmm. Alright, so what do I need to grab here? Whoop, nope. Need to get my ring back, that's for sure. We'll put on the good one, drop the rest. So we have 23 hit power now. That seems pretty good. Brass uh, mechanisms. Surprised I don't have zinc. Usually, usually that's a gimme. We'll drop the blasting powder. We'll uh, drop the meat. So, can I make a second set of those gloves? At the moment, probably not. Let's see. We'll take a look at the weapon one. Yeah, so, yeah, we need, we need more brass mechanisms. We will be able to make replacement gloves for them, but it's going to take a minute. In the meantime, it's going to be interesting to see. I'm going to be uh, paying close attention to see, like, am I taking da extra damage? What's going on here? Critical hits. Yeah, we're doing 63 crits. That's pretty nice. Alright, all those weapons are... Uh, are a trade down essentially, so boo. We'll go ahead and sell those. We'll uh, pop in here. Right, pop out. Now here's a big what. Yeah, I think I'd rather have just more more damage between these two. Hmm. 
Alright, so we can eat food to regain health, as it, as it's stated so elegantly. So we are hitting much harder. We still we still want to double up on our axes, but there we go. Dealing 42 damage a hit there so it feels pretty swanking strong. We'll uh, do that. Okay. So we should, yep, we have the shredded cheese. And hey, look at that, another volatile cell. More plague bolts. And we'll do a quick crafty here. All right, and that's gonna be pretty good for us. We're gonna go ahead and eat one of them eggs now. Yeah, like, if anybody knows what that uh, unstable encrust does, let me know, because so far it seems to just do nothing. Alright, zinc, sweet. That uh, was the crafting ingredient we needed. Leather belts is a crafting ingredient, but we don't need it at the moment. We have the zinc on side. We're going to use that to make the uh, copper now. So I think we need copper. Sweet. Your inventory is full. All right, we're going to look at our inventory. We'll uh, drop some cheese. Should have sold the traps, but oh well. Drop the gloves we don't want. Now that is pretty tempt tempting. Extra crit on our uh, guns are guaranteed hits. Hmm. Okay, so we'll go to our tink tinkering base. We do need to make a brass mechanism, so that's brass piping. And we know we're going to need a bunch of them, so might as well craft them now. Let's see, secret recipe, page. There we go, and we'll grab, all we need to do is grab our steel. We need spring-loaded boys and steel. Oh, only needed one of them. We can drop our steel. Drop our or drop our me brass mechanisms. Equip these bad boys. We're now up to 29 damage. So we've got our battle kilt, our uh, mighty helmet. Encrusted slow boots. We are, yeah, we have we have mid -level, level gear. That is for sure. All right, and we'll go ahead and do have ingredients. Yeah, okay, we'll. Uh... Go to the end. Craft all that. Oh yeah, and uh, flatten as a nice little omelet. Here, now we have five omelets. 
which normally is like, all right, got enough for the rest of the game, but we're not quite at that point point with this build just yet. Okay, drop the volatile cells. Hmm. We don't need the modular alchemy box. I do like just having my cra crafting stuff on me in case I need craft. We'll be using the things. And there's more zinc, which is great. That means more brass. Yep, we do. That was a 92 and one blast, so we're getting pretty we're getting pretty hefty. There is loot fish in there. Nothing I particularly want out there. We definitely want to level up because you know, we want to get, get, max out those rings. If we're lucky, we'll just find a, find better axes. That, that that's what we'd like. There we go. And we'll do a, our nice little jump here. Good. Him of Steel Bard. Tech scavenging is great for us. Scrap iron. One way that, that this could be min-maxed is getting Magic Lawyer instead of the Geo thing and do the transmogrification thing repeatedly. Brass mechanisms is what we want, so yeah, we'll happily go get what we want. I'm pretty sure there's a way we can walk there. He's a target trap, and nee, nee. we will go ahead and check these sides out because, like, it, it, we're not rushing to go get those. Mana potion. Right now, health's a premium, so taking those risks aren't really worth it. All right, that's uh. All right, do I have some projectiles, or am I just in trouble here? Okay. Hmm. All right, did a little damage to him. The unfortunate, uh, an unfortunate truth about this is, let's see. The critical hits. Right, we'll uh, hit him. Guaranteed kill. Yeah, these guys hit really hard. Let's see. Go ahead and make that big again, cause we're not fight, trying to fight someone down at the bottom. Okay, well we'll use our plague bolts here. There we go, and we survived. Now's a good time to omelet up. All right, so we did get a bunch of steel essentially, so that feels good. And we can, uh, yeah. And while while it doesn't seem as luxurious, nay, let's see. Please give me the clockwork axes. All right, uh, crafting machines always happy to see. All right, that's definitely worth the jump. We're gonna do this one first, then we'll jump. All right, that was not the one we wanted, but oh well. We'll jump back where we were. Cool to regain health. 
Okay. And we'll go ahead and get rid of you. Your inventory is full. Right, we'll drop you. And what's our what are we hoarding in our inventory that we can get rid of? Alright, we're gonna drop you with the rest of the mana stuff. Right, we'll drop. We'll drop you and you. You'll go in here. We'll uh, drop the bronze dagger. All right, and we got a bunch of drinks here, so we'll go drop all those. We got a gem here. Right, we got zinc, which we'll go ahead and drop there. Brass battery and copper, sweet. Hmm. We know we're gonna need iron. I have any chalk left at the moment. I do not have chalk by the looks of it. So we'll drop the iron with the rest of it and we'll drop the coal right here. Because we will be converting that to steel and we just need to get chalk. We have chalk in the way of uh, black pearls but don't think we want to just run through all those. I got page down and craft these. And we're going to drop the uh, cheese because we could turn those into uh, better heels. And we'll drop that. And we'll drop that. Hmm. We it. We'll definitely grab the silver and the platinum because those are enchants we can do. And I think we're good on that. All right, I feel like a prince. Poison flask or some and poison bows and lock picks. Speed. You want to be full of chalk, iron, and steel. Right, definitely steel. Definitely copper. Definitely silver. Definitely that. Definitely the Zincoids. Sweet, so we just bought a bunch of crafting materials, which is awesome. Okay, so these are almost the same, but three crit is too good to ignore. We're gonna be uh, switching out. There we go, we hit even more now. Bronze ingots are pretty cool. We'll go ahead and hit someone. Now, if we're lucky, we'll get a uh, item out of these wells. I don't think we're in danger of dying to drinking here. Especially since I feel refreshed. Water was boiling, so we got a temporary potion from it, essentially. do it this way. <laughs> Accidentally caged him. Yes. Uh, we're not going to bother for the rust. Or the headband. Actually, for the headband, it, it, it's a free item, so I'll do that. All right, let's go old potion. Getting double tapped by him sucks. All right, both of y'all go die in that. Yeah, y'all are. Uh, Y'all are scary monsters, I'll give y'all that. I don't, yeah. I'm gonna play it safe and just go ahead and kill y'all. And this is the alchemy lab, so... Oh yes, bookshelf, alright. 
that's not a plate we cared about, but yeah, we're getting closer. Eventually, if we just have every recipe, we'll get the ones we want, which are the chain, the ones we built. This uh, this builds around the clockwork things, so we either need to get them or yuck. All right, got him. All right, we'll hit him with plague bolts. Hit you with one as well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, 29 might feel good though. All right, we're gonna pop in here. Yeah, we did grab a bunch of items. Uh, we can definitely ditch the softballs. This one we're going to drop to the side. Alright, this one we're going to drop here. Including the bow staff. Get ready at you. We got more. Sp yeah, our spring loaded boys need to go down here. Fire sp there we go. Make a copper. Ooh, that was my stomach growling. I'm on a diet. Let's see, what are we crafting here? Boom. We're going to go ahead and craft the uh, tin, silver, iron, and aluminum. Sweet. So we got five iron, five steel, and there we go. Knocked all that down. Right, we're just putting the scraps in the scrap pile. There, it was four self-sealing bolts. All right, cool. An artifact. Yeah, uh, long skinny. Ro these long skinny roads are rough. against Shaw, apparently. Critical hits. Critical hits. Critical hits. There we go. Kicking his butt. Apparently, cool. All right, we're gonna do the uh, jump here. Yeah. All right, and we got another shop, and it's a long boy shop. Uh, if we're lucky, it's gonna give us an item we care about. All right, the shop was a flop. We'll get rid of the enormous wrench. We'll get rid of you. Get rid of these traps. Get rid of these brews. Yeah, we're gonna use these diligently. So, is there anything here we want? Nope. Damn. That's all three of the shops for this floor. So, kind of just hope the quest. All right, we're hoping for quest payouts and experience. All right, we're gonna definitely we're gonna pull one of these movers. Right. There we go. Hmm. I'm 
I'm worried these thrusties are going to uh, do their namesake to me, so we'll do uh, Alright, we dodged a bunch. That's pretty good. We'll do the jump now. sure we'll be able to kill you. Sweet. They are running in fear. That's the, uh, that's how we like our thrusties. There we go, and we gave him a nice little clockwork thrashing. Hey, look, we were going to buy one of you, but I, th I think you're worth putting on. Tesla mines won't zap us anymore. Sounds like somebody... Hey, look at that, another axe. Alright, we'll definitely go for you. And all right, so this is kind of this was kind of the okay. Would you like some basic weapons? And then eleven slashing for pin. Yep, that was a nice moment to get that. We'll definitely go go rocket. Definitely crafting machine. I will spend all my coconuts here. Now there will be a point where the throwing machine will be better, but go ahead and get you or zinc oxide, steel, these bad boys. Man. Sweet, so another great, a, another great crafting machine. Feels good, man. All right, now we'll, uh, yeah, we have four of these, which is amazing. Now we we'll drop, 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 drop. Uh, spring power core, sweet. And we are happy to get steel too. Because believe me, this this is going to get sucked up as we as we uh, gain levels. We're going to drop that there, that there, there. I don't think we're going to need a stick, but I'm dropping them over there just in case. I talked shit about zinc and zinc is like hey i'm back sweet we we like zinc because it, it turns to what we want I need to start using these projectiles more aggressively because they're clogging my inventory and i'm at the point in the game where i want to be you know where i'm most vulnerable so why not use the consumables we won't be using later right. we'll uh use the barb bolts We'll use these bolts. We'll say uh, yes, sweet. So we have two quests left. I'm curious to see. See, we we went a weird path and ended up finding all the shops early, which I'm gonna say is a, I'm gonna say I'm pretty pleased with. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens when we get the monsters. Ooh. All right, there's those. A third quest, okay. I'm getting excited. There's a decent chance we might get an item we want from that. All right, these are two machines we like to see. 
I do this. We'll uh, shoot you out again. That's right. The clock. We did a nice little clockwork thrash there. We'll. Uh, critical hits. Critical hits. All right. We'll do this now. Oh, you're running. Why are you running? Also, where are you running? All right, power glove, boom. Yep, so we do have abilities to press, which is nice. All right, All right we got a shield and what's it do? All right, so that was a bust. All right, we got more uh, clockwork style crafting stuff. Easy target trap. More silver, which is great. Nee. We don't particularly want that, but we will do this to get it. Definitely don't want to grab you. Our trap vision is pretty nice, though. So we'll walk around here. Nay. Nee. Okay, this seems like a good time to do this. Hits. Yep, that felt good. Hits. This is great because this is our time to get a bunch of omelets. Uh, this was a free this was a good loot room hmm. all right we'll put the cheesy omelet here and three invisibility potions is nice Okay, we got 22 shredded cheddar, so hopefully that'll be enough. Take the silver and put it with the other. So we have nine silver ingots. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them all. They may end up getting sold if we don't. We'll look at our, the end, chance we can do. We'll uh, go ahead and drop these. Honestly, bony one one's just a good idea to use up, up that's gonna be that's gonna help us in the monster zoo because if they're hitting zombies they're not hitting us we're gonna drop the salt all right and we'll drop the gems and we'll drop the borked one So we're going to be doing our set. We're going to be grabbing these eggs, that's for sure. And what are we crafting here? There we go. And that, now we have eight omelets, so we are doing pretty good on heal items now. Alright. We're going to play greedily. Alright, cool. So now that 
That's going to counter the negative mana we get later. I'll help counter it anyways. Yeah, it feels good to be able to one-shot enemies. All right, we're going to do the hop maneuver. Play shot you. Critical hit. I'm feeling pretty strong. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Let's see, what are you doing here? Dying. Mm. Yep, doing 73 damage a hit. Seems pretty good to me. See, so go ahead and do this. Hmm. I don't. Well, hmm. We could craft a bunch of silver shields to uh, make them sell for even more, but eh, we'll just we'll just go ahead and sell that. Quite a bit. How's my bullet pin uh, escaping? Hmm. Sell the mana mushrooms because we don't need them. We're going to do alt move. We don't need these. There's a belt we could make, but we don't want that belt. Press the. I meant to press alt. And we'll uh, hop out. All right, we're gonna be dropping off items here. Seems like that's the one we want to drop. Hmm. We already know what we're gonna use these for, so we might as well craft it. Uh, at the moment we're close enough to these stores. Wait, hold on a second. No, okay. We're gonna go uh, do the. We're gonna go turn in these quests. Oh wow, that's a little more than I thought. We're gonna do the uh, jump. Do you feel lucky, Punk? Ooh, boy. Lucky is not the word I'd use to describe myself at the moment. Hmm. Get ready, you. Hey, if you're gonna run in fear, I actually do feel lucky. Right. Since you're running, it's pretty safe to put that on you. All right, so that worked out. Critical hits. Hmm. Nice. All right, there's one more more down there. 
and we're about hmm. go ahead and shoot him sweet all right we're gonna do this maneuver next quest item which gave us what nothing the health regen is almost tempting but I would much rather have damage sweet Classics. So we'll do a nice little five maneuver. Uh, shift five. There we go. And this might be the monster zoo. If this is the monster zoo, we really lucked out. Nope, it's a. Cr it's our craft lab. Perfect. We like this. All right, we're going to plague you. Right, we're going to fire you. Hmm. All right, we're going to do the jump here. It's gonna be nice when we can use that ability or uh, charge of the steam brigade regularly, but right now I think it just kills us. Right. So, oh, and an aquamarine. Cool. Yep, I'm gonna say so far the mage build got off the ground way faster. Like putting up walls and flames, like we we did before, was cool. So. Yeah, would I say this build build works? So far, it, we're, we are we are surviving. So I'm not, I don't feel completely out and done, but oof, this could be going better. And of course, this feels like a build that once we have our our clock, because like I wanted the clockwork saws. I thought we were going to get those, or those, but and we still can. It's just we got to find the recipe for them, or we just got to find them. boss we need to find for the quest which he's somewhere in the shadows lurking waiting about to get his butt kicked Critical hits. Hmm. it's gonna be nice when we can use our uh, jump rocket jump pretty reliably too which we will get to that point we just got to get the the all the explosion resistance Do these traps? No probs. That was a nice little burst of experience. Something tells me this is the monster room because it's just the way that shadow is. Yeah, the way it's laid out. So it's it's we're at a point where it's got to be somewhere. Feels pretty good. Hmm. 
A sword. Oh man, that's it's Uber, so we're definitely gonna go ahead and grab one of them. Yeah, 82 damage a hit seems pretty good to me. there. Well, yep, obviously better than our current axe. Like, yep. Yep, I don't think there's a debate there. Alright. Not better than our current weapons. Well, that's certainly a thing that's happening. Holy crap. That's from the uh, Thermic Lance, right? Uh, yeah, the... Uh... Ooh, all right. Hmm. All right. What are we wanting to... Uh... Some of these are artifacts. Is there anything here we don't really care about? We're going to get the... Uh... Food at. Your inventory is full. Right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Go ahead and ditch the uh, trap into the loot fish shrine. Go ahead and drop the axes. All right, this axe. The, we are not gonna be using the woodsman that axe. We will drop these back in case we start just stacking up our uh, axe stuff. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and plate those. Drop the things where they go. Man, getting all these power cores is freaking awesome. Like, I've had runs where I went all the way to level 15 and only got one of them, so to get a, as many of them as we have now feels pretty good. Okay. So my objective now is to find the Monster Zoo. I want to fight that and kind of leave that as a high note and then start our stream again tomorrow. And since we're about to level up and stuff, each level we're going to be getting better gear, and that should... Uh, Make things a bit interesting. Alright, we got all the potions there. Okay. We'll uh, ditch the cheese. Do we need to be carrying all these wands? Probably not, but I think some of these resources, the answer is use them. I don't think we care about vodka, so just toss you in here. And some of these potions we'll just be using. The Narwhan, that's actually going to be pretty good for this monster zoo. I kind of thought it was it. Alright, that's a thing. Let's see, we'll do this, the classic. <laughs> nice. And we're definitely grabbing uh, Cog Jockey. current weapon has a uh, AoE flame attack which is fine we'll just do we'll just put this up more often yep. 
Pokemon with a stick of doom. So is, that's probably it right there. So that, that room was made easier by using up the wand. So just, you know. Okay, I got us some more experience. We'll uh, spam out these next. Go ahead, pop. That was an incorrect press. Definitely wanted to keep the purity potion, so that's unfortunate. We'll grab the Molotovs next. Hmm. Oh no! Probably gonna be fine. We'll uh, do the two hit first. We'll do the. Uh... There we go. We'll hit next. Right, I'm sure I got some potions in my pocket at this point. Nope, I do not. Go ahead and uh, do this. still but yeah that's it that was an interesting little thing yeah we'll go ahead and ditch you for now this pull arm will be a lot easier to use once we uh... yeah it's like it's hard to ignore that much damage and all those little extra bonuses there so I'm not. And of course that's got righteous damage and stuff like that. So we're we're doing a cornucopia. We are bringing the pain. And that's walled off up there. So we'll do this. Sweet. That teleported me exactly where I'd hoped. Okay, so it does four. Yeah. That's a boss, and now it's not. And of course, it was flip flops. Yep, it's flip flops, and it's not even. Yeah, th that that was a uh, rotten item. Well, uh, okay. These are weird, weird discolored enemies. We'll use this as a chance to use this bolt. Now that we have two two wind-up bows, I don't mind trying to put an enchant on them. Oh, dude, this next little bolt can move Oh my goodness, quite a few enemies here. Oh. Uh, Man, they're all running in fear. Okay. Okay. 
yet. Definitely gonna want to have my uh, shield up for for the uh, monster zoo coming up. All right, that's great. We could be, end up getting our uh, clockwork recipes. All right, a trap, fruit staff. All right, uh, one we're never gonna use. One we're never gonna use, fudge. Oh, there can only be so many more. But adapt and improvise, right? Where do you go? know what this is. I'd say the game's being rather unkind to us though, because it really shouldn't be right here. Could mess around to try to push it like to the uh, next encounter but or kite someone all the way there but that that all sounds like a nope burger we're gonna go back to our teleporter right. happily grab these uh, aluminum pipings and whatnot now the main reason I went clockwork is because it's cool the secondary reason is I was hoping that it would pretty much guarantee us our uh, axes. There we go, there's the monster zoo, sweet. What we got here we're gonna use, I think we'll start off with poison flask. There we go, that'll uh, soften them as they come in. I don't think we need potion of radiance, so we'll go ahead and pop it. Go ahead and use you. Good time to pop some food. Now this is a uh, pretty important area because this might as well read step in the wrong spot die. There we go. poison there okay your life force is running out hmm should have done it as an attack oh well Narwand would have been better used here in hindsight. Hmm. We'll use our bony wand. There we go. So we now get a nice little wall of zombies. Hmm. 
Could hmm. hit you with the little necro thing. Fight for me, my minions. Turn up the speed on that. Fire. Yep. I mean, if they're gonna let me kill them with fire, I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. We have 82 monsters left. You don't cast spells on me, thank you very much. Tech boys doing the job for us. Yep, having a little army is interesting. Critical hits. Wouldn't that go as far as to say good, but it is interesting. That was. I felt that that was resources well spent. any drink. Okay, we'll do the pint of gnar. Right, we'll hit you with that one. Whew, uh, what are we doing here? Seems like eating a bunch of mushrooms seems like a good idea. Now we'll grab this mushroom right here and we'll pop you because I want to do something a little crazy. Alright, we're gonna do this to jump in. Pop you and with he popped and our shields up and everything. 
Let's see, we'll take one more turn to drink a potion. Critical hits. Okay. We're gonna attempt this bad this maneuver right here. Do we need any other fire, or do we have any other fire resistance? No. Sweet. So we did that maneuver. Yeah, let's see use some of these bombs, we have them. So we are, we are down to 30 enemies. So uh, using Blaze of Glory was a good idea. Hmm. Right, we have one more bony wand charge. We'll go ahead and use it here. Chill for a bit. Probably should have used it here. Oh well. Hmm. I believe defiance. Okay. If you want to keep stacking up the, these hits, go right ahead. Hmm. Right, we're getting, since this is a boss, we're going to do a nice little jump maneuver. Got him. I think we're in the clear now. All right, he's the last really scary enemy. We'll use our punch on him. All right, there's like four of them. Yuck. Critical hits. Hmm. All right, we used up that wand. Hmm. There we go, that worked out pretty well for us. Okay, they are doing damage to us still. Seems to me like a good time to use these arrows. Still the one we'd like to hit, but these blobbies are tanking. And Octo is our last kill. Now we have a denim shirt versus this. So that's a whopping five dodge versus four at the sorry, the crits and resistance is it's, it's just still seems better. Alright, so we'll we're gonna drop par loot. Gonna drop this over in the use later pile. Ooh, can use a bunch of resources there. And uh, we did it. We we uh, won that dungeon, and we're getting more powerful each go. Hmm. I'm gonna take a quick look at the time. It's 11.45. I don't mind clearing out the rest of this floor and kind of poking my head downstairs. I would like to level up. But I that was a high, that was a good high note spot, and I do need to get ready for beads. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. 
All right, we're gonna drop off the scraps. All right, we're gonna drop these bad boys down here. There we go. So we definitely used our resources. We'll put our potions and arrows and weapons down here. Not when we had the thermatic bolts that we that we would have just wiped the floor with so many enemies, but that was not the case. Okay, so those are all potions we might use, and a wand we may use. Uh, drop the alchemist ooze. Drop this. There we go. So we are definitely low on resources now. Well, not low, but we have considerably less resources. I might consider turning some of those into arrows. Kind of when I, I think once we have our all our gear equipped, we're going to kind of decide what consumables we want to make. And then once we've cleared this room out, which will happen, it'll be interesting to see what we do. Let's see. Drop these here. Definitely going to play on faster animations. Alright. So we're going to let them come to us and then we're going to hop over them. Yes. Have the doors. Yeah, so the downside to the thermic lance is it hurts us. But we got a bunch of eggs, so we'll be able to make even more omelets. Here, I need to go up. There's quite a bit of resources here. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be able to use, with what that's giving us, so we're probably gonna be making, and what we have, we're gonna be making thrown weapons. And we can also do something like this. Here we go, alt. All right, so I think we drop 150. And we immediately uh, get an item. Alright, I uh, think these are just better, mainly because they have the two astral damage on it. And... Yeah, so better stats all around. Power is good, but having a bit more defense would not, would not kill us. So there we go, we got that. And that's what you do with Lucas shrines. You're like, I, I'm not sure if 150 is the exact thing, but it seems about for 100 per 150, you get an enchant. So stacking up a bunch and using them is a good idea. I think that, yep, we've done every quest. We've done the monster room. We've checked all the shops. Looks like we are good to go. So I'm. This looks like there's a room on the other end of this, so... Oh yeah, there is definitely a room. Yep, and it's just the basic trap. Alright, so we'll kill him right off the bat. Go ahead and shoot this last arrow. Use a little jump it deal. Right, these guys are no joke, so we will be using weapons against them. Hmm. Alright, bone bolts. 
Go ahead and hit him with Classic Bolt. Get this last one with a rocket hammer. Nice. Okay. Well, that worked. Is there any other spots I'm seeing on the map? I don't see anything. All right, so it looks like we're we're, we're maxed out here. We're going to take a moment to use the shop for our selling pleasure. We'll definitely be using the Tesla bolts. Okay, we'll sell the uh, Diggle Nog because we do being transformed is a, a big no-no. Sell that. So we're making some munties. There we go, sweet. So now we got seven thousand, which will be enough for the next door. this here. I should have used the, this wand more. The problem was that there was just so much stuff that resisted it. It didn't seem super worth it. And now I'm pretty excited about this. We'll grab our cheese real quick. There we go. We're back up to seven omelets, which is awesome. Grab, <gasps> toss those in, which is super good. All right. Diamonds are going to get its own tier because we do want to stack diamonds for a few of those enchants. All right, we're going to drop all our gizmos. Drop you. Yeah, well, we we're going to wait a little longer and hop back in. Thankfully, we're not a mana-sucking build, otherwise that would suck. It's pretty safe to say that this is a you know, pretty wild, wild, wild build. We got mechanite. Let's see, we have clock, clockwork power limbs, and we have in the mega hand. Let's see, what are we grabbing next? We are grabbing ourselves a, an escape hatch down to the next floor. And this next floor, we're gonna be really powering up because we're gonna have six tech. And like we're pretty good on traps this floor is pretty good the eelies are a little scary but everything else i think we're going to be able to handle handedly thermal blobbies we're not really scared of okay yep getting in the groove I'm going to play at the higher speeds when possible. We're going to do the uh, thermal jump. Hit. There we go. Countering two enemies on either side of us feels pretty dang nice. The sneaky assassin's crossbow seems like a... Yep. Crits are guaranteed hits, so that's a little more important than the four piercing damage. Knock picks. All right. Yeah, that was the incorrect hit. We'll let it take the fell truffle. We'll take that. But yeah, 
the downside to to uh, taking taking the uh, weapon skills and it's one I'm considering heavily with my builds next time is you're kind of you know if you don't get the weapon you want you're screwed and we did the best thing we c could for it like we're gonna be able to craft the weapon when it shows up. Okay, hopefully this will give us it. Champion built. We'll consider it. Right, Witchy is getting hit. Oh. Alright, we'll do the. Uh... his ass. So we leveled up. And that's going to mean we get Inventor. And with Inventor, we are going to go ahead and upgrade to our next limbs. We're going to hold up a second on that because it's well that, that sucked. And since we have Inventor now, we're going to want to get our weapons up. Hmm. All right, there's a monster zoo. Probably should have built my uh, crafter first, but we're going to do it this way. So that softened him a little bit. Okay. to go cray cray and do it this way. Boom! So we got that going now. Pop this bad boy. I don't have anything to uh, counter fire damage. So we'll go ahead and pop it food at least. That was the risky play, but yeah, this is definitely the uh, run of it for me tonight. Whoa, well, that knock away could have killed us, so kind of glad it didn't. We'll uh, pop the replenishment potion here. All right, we'll do two here. There's uh, 35 monsters left. All right. We'll uh, toss this bad boy. I thought that they were going to walk over those, but oh well. Hmm. 
just use those to soften the enemies up. There we go. Now what I want to know is why the uh, steam brigade charge isn't going down. Because it's at 99. Oh, that's because it's above 99 and it just stays there until it comes down. Got it. This is working. We'll go ahead and pop another uh, empowerment potion. Hmm. We'll uh, let that fire be there for a bit. We'll take this as a moment to jump the fire. Powerful. I thought, thought I was... Alright, I didn't pay attention. I lost the uh, Thermatic Kinetic Dampener. I think next time I'm going to do a, do a uh, AoE Magic build. That was a little bit rough. Ooh, ended in despair. That I could have just stepped back. I'm... Oh. Well, hmm. I guess I'll tease what I'll do next time. New game. Going rogue, permadeath. I think we're gonna build around Necronomics. And if we're building around Necronomics, we're gonna need something to uh, protect, you know, something to keep us safe through it. So we need to go astrology if we're do doing that. And if we're going those, that, that's pretty much all of our magic attacks for the game. We're good there. We need to do our mana sweep, which would be these two. And then we need to do our crafting, which will be... Well, we don't need to do craft... have to do crafting, but it's good. And let's see. And then our... Uh, Final get would be. Alright. So this would provide us. Uh, alchemy would provide us some. Uh, the ability to craft craft orbs. Uh, specifically starry orb. And uh, other things we need for enchants. Uh, not super necessary. So we could probably get rid of you. Because I'm trying to think of fun factor too. Let's see. For fun factor, we could do staves times two, but then again, we just kind of learned from that last build that that wasn't all too bumping. Let's see, what else would we want? Hmm. So basically, that's mana. And one lore essentially should just read damage. All right. Now we could do Egyptian magic. That that would be huge clearing. Yeah, that that would be huge clearing spells. We would need mana, but it's. Because it's an absolute mana siphon. But it's still pretty yeah, pretty good. And that would be some gish action. Let's see what else could we do out of these. 
I don't want every build to just be a thievery build. But yeah, this combo right here handles mo would handle most of our mana. Let's see, if I wanted to do it a Gish style, the uh, way we could do it is this, this. Astral Projection gives us a lot of magic resist. And then we could go, let's see. We could go Staves. Which we could use in the magic attacks that stacks up and double wielding those would be pretty dang good. And if we uh, win anything else, what would it be? Blacks. All right. So if it's a Gish, do we want to be a Gish or do we just want to be ridiculous magical power? Or do we want to just try a melee build, a different, a slightly different melee build? Because I'm going to be honest, I wasn't super impressed with uh, Clockwork Knight. Hmm. Okay, so there is a, diff a build I haven't done done before that I might be, I'd be super interested in. I don't know. I think we'll just uh, clip here, and uh, oh, yeah, that was an embarrassing lot. That I mean, that was an ill. Yeah, I do want to. Hmm. So if we went this, all right, we would want the, uh, we would, we would pretty much, you pretty much want this. If you go with this, it can do uh, necro damage to yourself. So you need necromantic, you need nec necromantic resistance. Vampirism provides that plus an escape ability. Plus with that escape ability, the batty one, you don't have to take burglary. So that would be our burglary substitute. We would absolutely want Blood Magic and uh, Laywalker for the mana. Let's see, what else could we do like as a mana thing? Let's see. We could get Zany with it and do dual wielding and double wands and eventually just hope we, hope we, you know, hope we find staves. There are a few early ones that are pretty good. But if we did that, we absolutely do need to take one more. Like, I don't even think one lore is negotiable if we do that. Wait, no. Because we, the met, all right, the only resistance stacks up on that. So if we did anything melee, we'd want to do unarmed. Because we would definitely be unarmed. So that would be, yeah. And that's pretty good. We know we'd be getting orbs and all that good stuff. And magic wise, pretty much we'd use Necronomics as our big field clears. And you know what? We can do astrology as well. There we go. And that's a lot of dan that's a lot of AoE damage. Hmm. But yeah, this build would be, this this build could be a lot of fun. So th that's that's the big thing with it. Now we could remove vampirism because it might be unnecessary. But yeah, we're gonna with this build we'd have a lot of self healing, doing a lot of damage. Hmm. And since we're yeah, so we would definitely want. All right, so what what else would we want here? I think vampirism is overcomplicating things. Yeah, so I think we can get rid of vampirism for this build. If we so we 
Yeah. Alchemy would be a great, great pick just because it would guarantee that we can... One, it would give us a bunch of resistances and stuff like that. The other one, let's see. The other one that'd be really fun here is Warlockery. Uh, Warlockery will give us a a spell on hit. That does some pretty good stuff for us. The other other option is uh, Smithing, which would give us pretty much a guaranteed decent weapons and weapons and armor and what whatnot. Because we could craft the Wizard Robe, we could craft. Uh, there's there are some regeneration rings I think would be absolutely amazing with this build. Hmm. So if we were going Gish, smithing would probably be the way to go there. Now that means for our wand lure and crust, we would be be uh, reliant on Brax's shops. And re reliant on... Uh, yeah, you know, we'd be heavily reliant on on crafting machines because like we won't be able to make a lot of the encrust with it. Hmm. Now the other way too would be to get shadow resistance from heavy helms and things like that. Hmm. But yeah, so. Yeah, unarmed gives us some attacks and things like that. It gives us some attacks, gives us a wide array of just a huge stat boost for not having stuff. We have our spells, we have our mana, and we have crafting. Hmm. There is one more build that might be... that I haven't done before, so we could do it this way. Alright, we would do Rogue Scientist. This would allow us to get everything. Wand lore, alchemy, and uh, let's see what what else? yeah, trickster I think. Yeah, okay, let's uh yeah, this build right here would just be we pour out we pour out magic. All right, so, and we need our tinkering, so that would be it there. So that would be producing a whole bunch of insane stuff. Then we would do this, this, and what else would we do here? Oh yeah, Egyptian magic. Okay. Yeah, so this will be the build we'll be attempting next. Where's Egyptian magic? Cool. So the idea behind this build is we'll be using Egyptian magic to clear most things. And then we'll be using uh, these skills for some huge blasts. The question is how would this kill Dread more? And the answer there was we'd probably just hit him with a bunch of thrown weapons. All right, well, that's the preview. I'm either going to be doing this build or I'm going to be doing the... Uh, yeah, I'll either be doing this build or I will be doing a uh, Necronomicon build. All right, I'm Brian the Birmingham Devil signing out. I will see y'all next stream.